Ah, it's good to be back. Ah, so if anyone can let me know how the volume is for um, uh, Metal Gear Revengeance in the background. I'm going to turn it up a little bit on my end. Oh, but welcome to the weekly Metal Gear Rising Revengeance stream. I've got my beer. we got Raiden. He's there. He's practicing his catters. He's like, hoo, 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 like an absolute fucking boss. And as always, if you've not tuned in before, we're going to complete the entire game tonight. With the exception of Mission 5, which is just you run back through a level you've already done. Unless we're making good time. Without further ado, uh, let's go. Be sure to um, let me know if the audio is good or not. Very hard mode. Let's go for very hard mode. We seem to be doing okay on very hard mode. And we skip every cutscene. If you give a shit what happens in the story, look at it yourself. Look straight into it. And I think they make you fight. No, no. Don't have to fight a gecko. In oh, no, you do have to fight a gecko in this first mission on very hard mode. Come on. Perfect. Get rid of these three guys nice and easily. So this first gecko is very frustrating to fight because you lack the ability to Zandatsu. Block in the air or um, uh, enter blade mode. So the hardest part of like pretty much the entire game, with the exception of one boss fight coming up, is this very first encounter. Everything after this is easy. Like, this is the hardest part of the entire game. Is beating this first gecko, because you don't have access to any of Raiden's late game abilities. Which make these things a lot easier to fight. So we can hope to get a triple, or at least a double on these guys. So let's just kill the three dudes straight away. So the difficulty lies in the fact I do not have access to Zandatsu. Which means I don't have the ability to heal. Or the ability to... Uh, Easily punish this thing's attacks. You'll see there, every time you get a nice little parry animation, the gecko has this really annoying habit of jumping backwards or jumping to the side. Makes it really frustrating to fight, especially without access to Raiden's um, uh, later game ship. So it's uh, more random than anything where he takes thing out. You also can't block in the air, so my habit of blocking is... Yeah. Ooh, and Dave... Uh, Nick Noodle with the subscribe, with the Prime. Those Bezos books. It's good that this first like this first bit's the most difficult bit. It's a good way to just, like, lead people into and showcase, like, how uh, just balls the walls insane this game is. Ooh, perfect. If I pull this off, should be able to get the easy. So there's a few things like the Ray can do, or the Gecko can do. This is probably the most frustrating of jumping backwards over and over again. You can't cancel your block either and you haven't got attack and defend. Like you are really limited in this first section. Right, to the point where you are literally not supposed to fight this enemy type yet. As in, like, the boss, the level boss is easier to beat than this thing. Nope. Nope. <sighs> we'll get it, folks. As soon as we get this thing, the rest of the games are cake walk to one specific section. These two dudes. Oh, we might have looked out. Yes, we looked out. Excellent. So we managed to get into blade mode next to the gecko, which means we can basically get infinite free hits on it here. I'm on it. So basically, we just have to like box it into the wall here. Like prevent it from dodging backwards by effectively removing its ability to go backwards. Oh, and you can't cancel your fucking attacks! So you can't cancel heavy attacks up until... Come on. Come on. You also can't, like, blade mode finish it off. It's very evident you're not supposed to fight this enemy type yet. Done. 
So what you have to do is you have to like back it into a wall. I'll add the limo to your solid down radar. Parry it and then hit it, otherwise it just dodges backwards the entire time. No, thank you. So there we go, fight the final boss of the previous game. Let's go. It's Ray. It's a Ray. How you doing? So Ray is a lot easier to beat than that gecko. That single gecko is gonna take me longer to beat than Ray. I most likely will not get hurt fighting Ray unless he does this very specific thing that's very annoying. Which is move the uh, plasma cutter in an awkward manner. Otherwise, we've basically completed this level. It's just a matter of chasing Ray down, hacking away his ankles. Ooh, you're gonna do it. Do the charge, do the charge, perfect. So this is an advantageous thing to do. If you get the charges or the hits, you effectively get free hits on Ray, which allow you to um, just cut his guns off. Makes the fight a lot easier. So we've already got Ray down to half health. Cut his missiles in half. Oh, we've got the, the tail parry as well. This is a rare animation. You get an achievement for this. So that's a really rare animation you get. It's uncommon for Ray to do that. Ooh, we're getting a really lucky Ray fight today. So far, we've got incredibly lucky with this Ray fight. Damn it. So I was trying to block there, but because the camera was being awkward, you block by putting it in the direction the enemy is coming from. And the problem with that is, if the camera is above you or the attack is from above you, it's unclear where forwards is. So that was just an unfortunate, uh, which we might as well get some health back. Be rude not to. Just for the safety. This is me talking like a speedrunner. This is the one time you actually get hurt by Ray. If it, like, the plasma cutter uh, cycle is a bit awkward. Perfect. Just one more phase now. Unless he decides to jump over my head again, which Ray is very likely to do. Ooh, this one. So you can run straight past it if you're running a straight line, but it's not recommended. Come on, stand still, Ray. It's going to jump. It's going to jump. I can feel it. Done. That's Ray beaten. You should take it down to zero health. Oh no, it's still got 5% health left. Annoyingly, it's going to jump. Yeah. So, I lied. Another phase. <sighs> At least run. 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 Oh, it's going to... Perfect. This is a frustrating thing. There's not really much you can do about it. There's a few ways to, like... Cheese, raise pattern. I'm not familiar with what they are. But it doesn't matter anymore. Done. Right, Ray, do it. Assume the position. Yeah! I'm already running towards it. If I get quick enough, I can avoid the plasma caster. No, it's not. Ugh, and there's the screenshot. Whoop. So you'll notice that I died more times to that gecko right at the start of the game. That is legitimately one of the most difficult things to do. It's the only part of the game you're forced to do without an upgrade of Raiden. Yeah, look at that fucking screenshot. Incredible. Horror shot. Yeah. What a fucking weed. Ting! Look at that be. That's not bad. Yeah, man. Free emotes. The free gay pride emotes. And if you sub, you can spam as many as you want. Unfortunately, you can't do that if you don't sub. We've had way too many people come in and spam shit emotes from other content creators I don't care about. Not about that life. He got like eight feet. 
Now I'll try and explain the story as best as I can, but there's no story to this game. It's just save the children. A very classic story. Oh, it looks so clean. Mm, 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 mm. That's right. Train like a fucking badass. Oh, God. How many times do I have to fucking tell this thing? Fine. I'll beat you up again. And there's only one part of this fight that's really scary, and it's this initial laser barrage. It's the only part that's scary. Just you have to jump, and sometimes, like, the hitbox is a bit awkward. Of... There we go. That's the only part of the fight that's scary. Now it's just a matter of just do the dodge. Uh, 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 uh. Slash his face up. Kick it apart. Ooh, the missiles. Love this one. Ting! On it. These missiles are shit. Look at like, the fucking area of effect they have when they land. Pretty bad if you ask me. Cut this up again. This is very hard mode. Figured why not? I've been doing pretty decent. Ooh, Spooniac. Or Sponiac with the sub. Those Bezos books. Mash, Chun Li's face. Got to launch some missiles. Until a few times you can be hit. I just let these explode normally, there's no real threat, you just stand over here. What should we have to do is without taking any damage? You know, famous last words, but this should be a zero damage um, uh, second phase ray. And that's ray defeated. Nice one! I'm gonna try. Oh, just in. Look at these front flips. What do people think when they see this? This is one guy. Like, what's the point of even building fucking rays if you're going to build, like, three Raidens? Like, you could send three Raidens into any battlefield and win. Oh, no! One thing I appreciate about the, like, the Metal Gear series is that the rays act like monsters. They are just kaiju. But they're supposed to be like unfeeling, unthinking machines, and Ray roars like a fucking kaiju and acts like a monster. It's great. Oh shit! I forgot about that one. Woo! I don't know, I think Ray's a really easy fight, it's just a frustrating one. Because it has a nasty habit of running away the entire fight. Like, the harder difficulty you are, the less damage you do, and the more likely it is to spend, like, ten minutes running away. It can kill you with, like, random hits every now and again, which I guess is frustrating. That was my bad. Whoop. The real hard mode is against the two grads. So that's an enemy type you're not supposed to fight one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, more than one-on-one. -on -one. And the game makes you fight them twice, I think, in two areas. So no, though I died, so only an eight. Not bad though. The very hard mode. Very hard mode is, as the name suggests, very hard. I'm on it. Go ride and go. That's such a stupid name, such a cool looking thing. Unidentified tilter rotor. Is that come on. Now we just skip all these cutscenes. And fight you can't win. So I guess I can just show off the thing I always show off, which is this game has access to a couple of things that are like character action staples, one of which is iframes on a jump. And jumps can cancel nearly everything. So if you jump, you can like dodge all of his attacks. And not half bad. That combined with attack and defend, like you're basically invincible. It's great. Whoa! What a dumb idea for a fight. What a great way to just, like, reuse the asset of the sewer tunnels. Whoa! Ow! Come on, Sam, hit me. Not bad. Do 
Done. So Raiden's dead. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just gonna go just face stare off into oblivion and hope for the best. Ugh. Oh no, I'm not. I've not been upgraded yet. Ah, oh, what a prick. Done. That's the first mission done. I think I get a B for that overall. Didn't do it very quickly. That initial gecko fight is just a killer. It's such a an unfun introduction to the mode because the rest of the game, save for one section, is really fun on very hard mode. There we go. I've got my got my HF blade. Let's do this. Yeah, I got it. Oh no, robots! Now I don't want to use the fox blade. I'm not going to cheat that much. Yeah, the fox blade is just easy mode. Let's go. Can I get three at once? One, two. One, two. One, two. Ah, it doesn't set a good tone for the rest of the game, and we got a two for. And then the the mastiff hit me from off screen. Love when the mastiff hits you from off screen. You'll see now Raiden has the ability to cancel all of his animations and block, even in mid-air. Wouldn't that have been useful against the fucking Gecko? Yeah. I got that B. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, the Armstrong fight's alright. If you can just get past the first phase, he drops like five healing items for you straight away. Easier said than done, but like every boss fight drops healing items for you after the first phase. Because they know. Like, they know how like fucked up it, that game gets after a while. Got it. Oh, to the dong. Just split the dong in half. Thank you. And now I continue on my merry way. I want to try to. Oh, don't, don't worry, I know where the enemy is. There's one thing Ryder knows where the enemy is in this very first section. This guy. Fuck him up. Wait. Oh, he almost had a chance. Shit. Try that again. Woo! Get fucked! Wait for it to go on this guy. Done. Oh, I got two for one. Nice one. Thank you. So that all happened in one quarter of a second. Don't worry, mate. You're good. You good? Well, I would be as well. A giant robot just flew in and fucking murked that guy. Like, two people had me at gunpoint the next second. They were confetti. I can see why you're scared. Slide. Oh, it's rematch time, fucker. This is like the first time you're supposed to canonically fight these things. And the whole point is that you've got like all your fucking upgrades. So now I've got all my upgrades, I can just do this. Oh, fuck those guys. I, I flip between what's the worst enemy in the game, and I do think it's these sword guys. Just when it makes you fight two at once, and they do their dumb, like, uh, sword combo thing. Full health. You see that look? That thing there, that dodge backwards every time you hit it. So even if you parry these things, they don't get hit. 
What a stupid idea that was. The only enemy in the game that can consistently stop Raiden from parrying them. And they also make it so that their attacks technically come from the side sometimes. In an incredibly frustrating design decision. One I'm actually baffled by. In a game that's all about like cool counters, this one enemy type you fight all the time actively dodges them. Just I don't want to fight another one. Always kill these things first. No, the missiles are coming in. I feel it. Ooh. There we go. There's always one coming in. You see there, look. I, dod I parried it perfectly. The gecko just takes it. It just dodges backwards and takes no damage. Come on, Raiden. I hate when they kick me in the back of the head. No. Oh, the box. It's going to kill me. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a ve not a very big fan of the geckos. I know they're an iconic enemy type, I just don't like them. For that one reason, that annoying habit they have of hitting you from off screen or doing this like attack here. Thank God for that. Can't do shit on the bridge. So in a place where it can't dodge backwards, you can punish it. I, I shouldn't have to like fucking do that to an enemy type to like do the one critical thing every other enemy in the game is weak to on it. the edge of the bridge ah this gonna look so fucking cool Whoa. oh that look clean let's destroy the bridge which i think should like stun every enemy on it but that's just me break the guard Whew. let's go Carry that shit in mid-air like a, a boss. Like Raiden. Ugh. And that's why this game's fucking rad. Just shit like that. And that's why that enemy is annoying, look. Because there's it's random how many times you have to perfect parry them. I shouldn't have to do it six times in a row. But maybe you do. Maybe that guy's just that good. And, ooh, box. My box, because I know what's going on next. Box. Nice huh? oh, fire, let's go around. I wonder who it's going to be. It might be a wolf of Blade. It may be Robotic Wolf. We don't know. It could be. Let's find out. Is it Robotic Wolf? <gasps> it is Robotic Wolf. He is here. Do it. Tell me you're going to obliterate my consciousness, Blade Wolf. You know I love it when you tell me you're going to obliterate my consciousness. Do 
Just tell me you're gonna obliterate my consciousness. Like, give me what the people want. Let's do it. I could go with some health back. Perfect run ruined. Yeah, awoo. <laughs> Guys coming in. Random dudes. Let's do it. Three for one. Done. One, two, three. Thanks, Blade Wolf. Give me that nice electric. That's like when you're on a marathon. You see those guys getting the drinks of water? That's what Blade Wolf just did then. I call it like S rank tier violence, Blade Wolf. I will exterminate your point. You said the line now, so there's no reason to keep you alive. <laughs> he only just got in. He's been in the combat for like three seconds. He's already like, I better call someone in. Oh no, these fuckers again. How many times do I have to kill this thing? In my head, it's just always the same one. They just keep rebuilding it. Do it. Done. It's the only one of those attacks where he doesn't like dodge backwards. Thank God. That could have added like an extra three minutes to this fight if it didn't play play nice. Ow! Like, is this all the human mind is capable of? For that blade wolf, you fucking mine. No, you're not. There's no re-engaging here, Blade Wolf. Just no re-engagement for you, Blade Wolf. No. Bad dog. That's for calling me a shit. You know, I fucking bet you can't continue. Get wrecked. Don't worry. And look at that, I got an A, because I got hit once. Very hard mode, man. Don't fuck around. Ooh, let's try this. So I like throw this grenade over here. Distract these guys. No. Oh. Here's me thinking I can sneak up behind them. I'll take that, thank you. Bam! All for me. Oh, the old crisscross. How much do you think that hurts? That looks like it hurts like a lot. This poor guy. Mm, 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 mm. Let's fuck up all these boxers. That thing as well, I want this. I found a grenade. There's a grenade on the floor, idiot. Yeah. Ryan's on his way. Oh no, I'm dead. No! That's okay. What a cool shot. Can you tell that wall running was supposed to be a mechanic in this game? Up until like the last second when they took it out. It's like almost every single one of Raiden's cool video game moments is him running up a wall. Here we go. Easy. Done. We're not fucking around fighting helicopters today. Like, helicopters couldn't eat a dick. Oh, bad info. But it's still the Bezos books. Let's go. So I don't like fighting aerial enemies. They can fuck all the way off the edge of my penis. No, we haven't. It's fine. Same tactic as before. Just cut these guys up as quickly as possible. And then just attack all the flying enemies. Just immediately, like, just drop kick all the flying enemies so they don't have a chance to shoot this guy on the floor. Like, don't give him a chance. And this guy is the final one. Done. So that should be them all dead, and this guy should be safe. You good? Yeah, yeah it's fine. You can take that off. Make sure you tell everyone what you saw, because no fucker is ever going to believe that. Because that was too fucking rad. Actually making good time today as well. Save for that, like, you know, first, like, three seconds. Yeah, I'm on it. Electronic lock on the gate. 
I've got a quick way to open the door. Every time I do as well, someone in, like, in the comments, I was like, I forgot that you could do that. So you immediately run in. This is a really annoying fight to get an S rank on. One of the harder ones in the game, because it just has people with rocket launchers off screen who always get a little bit of damage on you. Like, it's virtually impossible to S rank, because one of the guys will hit you. So you'll see me try to take them out as quickly as possible. So I can fight the, um, the Katana guy. Because he's the real threat. Rocket launch guy. Nope. I saw he was blending in. For a second he did blend in. We're not about that life. Oh, the slow-mo! So that's potentially one of the hardest fights in the game to S rank. Just for the that guy with the rocket launcher right at the very start. You'll get hit by that guy every single time. I've not done a single run of this game where I've not been hit during that fight. Yeah, fuck your door up. I would have got four healing items. We can run up and round. We go with slide, got a cutscene, we'll just skip this straight away. It's when Mistral calls you up and makes Raiden super nervous. Like Raiden's like, ooh, he blushes. Who knew robots could blush? Nobody. Really? Nope, come on, that was quick enough. That was quick enough. If I do not face that guy. Come on. I can get away with it. I can get away with it. We can we can we can save it. We can save this stealth section. Done. Slice off the noggin. Come on. Just to see if I can more than anything. Ah, okay. So there's a mechanic in this game where if you're in the air, enemies can't see you. It seldom comes into play. You can jump around corners and just in front of enemies and they can't do anything about it. And that gecko knows I'm here, and it's coming. Like, that gecko is on its way. It has sensed that violence is occurring. And the drop kick. Whatever. There's not much left. But you got to do it. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. Pull it off the top. And then if we go in a circle, sneak up behind this thing. Done. Easy. I think so. I thought that was okay. Nope, it's two helicopters. Uh, eating protein soup, there's many, many alternate forms of protein you can eat. You can have quail, um, you can drink soy milk, which is very high in protein, cheese, just any form of meat. Like cottage cheese is one that I use for bulking, or even just protein shakes and protein powders. I have like a vegan protein powder made out of like pea protein. I just have a, like, a glass of that every morning with some um, uh, oat milk and a banana. And like, one of the cheapest ways I found to get protein was just meal deals at Tesco. It's chicken pasta. With um, one of those packets of chicken and a protein shake. Three quid. Done. 
And you can make very protein high meals that are full of nutrients. Like again, just you can get a packet of chicken for like one pound, put that in a one pound salad, that's two quid. That's vitamins, minerals, and your protein. And it's low calorie. Unless you put a shit ton of sauce and stuff on it. So the first thing we have to do, we have to make sure we um, destroy all the air conditioning. Because after living in the UK, during a heatwave with no air conditioning, I'm so fucking sick of Americans bragging about it. So yeah! That's what I think your air conditioning. I love as well that you can destroy security cameras to lower suspicion. I always felt like a destroyed security camera is like the most suspicious fucking thing ever. Yeah, I know. Yep. Dodge. Look at that. What a shit security camera. Done. There's another section you can do, like, quite... You can stealth this entire section. It's very difficult. But it can be done. There's a few ways, like, you can sneak up and around, like, all the enemies. And you can abuse, like, the whole jumping thing, but... Uh, I'm not going to be able to make this. This guy's still coming. Fuck it. One. Yo, oh, there it is. And that's why this enemy type sucks. You saw it there. I had literally no time to avoid that. Just... Rocket launcher came from off screen. Oh, surfing! Join me. And I love fighting around these lasers. Just because, like, Raiden still does the animation, even though he doesn't need to. Oh, yeah. Now, please don't spoil movies that just came out. You'd be surprised what people consider to be a spoiler, so just say if it's... If you say you watched it, that's fine, but... If someone has made internet content for a while, like, there is almost nothing you can say that's not considered a spoiler. BAM! And you just see like about these things like they just the amount of time they add to like missions if they just don't play ball. At least he's getting wombo combo by his own fucking team. That'll do. And I love as well that these security cameras, even though they know I'm here, because they can't aim at me, they just give up. So I want full health for I go fight my strap. And there's always a guy down here. Hey, what's up? How'd you know there was a guy in there? There's always a guy in there, and he always gives me full health. Thanks, guy who always gives me full health. What a bra. Let's roll. Boop. I have no idea what Technoblade is, and I couldn't give less of a shit because Elon Musk was tweeting about it. So it automatically goes into the ignore pile for me. Woo! All right, so let's have a look at our message. Oh, God. I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper. No one calls him that anymore, except for everyone he encounters, including himself. Yeah! Character Design 101. Make a hot lady. Give her an outfit that covers her titties. Surprised like they could stick to that after the, uh, the Beauty and the Beasts in the previous game. Sorry, Mr. Al. Now, you're a cool character, but you're not going to be in this fight for very long. Because I mean business today. I'm apparently on a fucking roll. Join me. I will. Oh, is that, like, was the fucking, the no look hit? No, 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 no. Oh, God. Right, and work the pole. Shit. So if you fuck up or not, you just take a bit of damage if you fuck it up, but otherwise, no real downside to missing that one. 
I can't believe how far Raiden jumps in that moment. And then he does like 14 backflips before he lands. Do we enjoy this? We've not landed a single hit yet, Mistral, so I hope you're enjoying it. Because Raiden is pounding away at that asshole. And I think we all need to take a moment to appreciate her animation of being surrounded by the ball of dwarf geckos. And then just emerges with the arms. No, so the only thing that's hit me so far is one of the geckos. That's funny. Ooh. Super awkward to block that one. Because like, she's above your head. So it's like, do I aim towards her or away from her? Done. She's trying. Oh, I'm following her up. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that's right. I do what I want. Got two glitches so far this game. Oh man, she's got my building Elden Ring. Look at her go. Double whips with flames. And double Bloodthorn whips. With that haircut as well. Ugh. Do it. What? Robo Dominatrix, let's do this. So the thing that's done the most damage so far is the Dwarf Geckos. I'm not kidding when I say they are the most dangerous thing in this entire fight. Possibly the entire game. Because they're in multiple fights and they fuck you up every time. Because they can grab you while you're fighting Mistral. And she hurts in this mode. And she has an infinite amount of them as well. There's no way to, like, stop her from having them in the fight. Oh, that block! Sorry, Mr. Al. Done. From me! That accent, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Like, I would believe you're shit talking a lot more, Mistral, if you weren't on 0% health right now. Mm. Backhand. I'm not gonna fuck with you. I'm just gonna make you kill yourself. Uh, uh, titties. Here it is. A C. Would you give that a C, folks? That complete and utter curb stomp symphony on Mistral's asshole? That was apparently worth a C. The ranking system in this game is so messed up. And then we have, like, the original video gaming simp, where that guy blows up an oil refinery because Mistral says I don't like you. Coup d'etat. Nice one. I got the Bass Acker ranking. I'll take that. Customize riding body. Why the fuck not? Customize it for the sewers. What suit is like best for like, you know, strolling through the sewers? Fuck yeah, gotta look your best. Gotta look your best while strolling through the sewer. I need to read this law. This law's amazing. The law to Metal Gear, it's like, it just goes and it goes and it goes. These are my, like, bros. It doesn't matter. Fuck yeah. Mm. Like, you might not like it, this is what peak male performance looks like. I'm just... Mm. I'm pretty sure it's like riding as a yellow tie. Because the Armstrong suit look. It's the same colour Armstrong wears. Like Armstrong basically wears this suit, but he's a lot buffer. So it makes it like a political debate if you're fighting wearing it. Ooh, I forgot. If I'm going in the sewers on very hard mode, I'm not not using Armor Breaker. Because this thing makes this section a cakewalk, which is what I need right now. So we need to power through this section. Rawr. So these things are 100% UGs. There is no human parts in these. So you don't have to feel bad about cutting them to pieces. It's a pure robot that's for some reason designed to fight like a gorilla. 
And they also, in this section, just because it's very hard mode, put flying enemies who shoot missiles in there with it. Which is why I'm using the armor breaker to make the fight easier. So if you don't have armor breaker, this section is a nightmare. No damage. Now I'm good. Oh, I forgot to make you fight a grad in this bit. Fuck yeah, let's go. So you're not supposed to fight this enemy till way later in this game, so... Oh, I've not got on on. Um... Ah, fuck it. You can't sneak up on it. Go. Done. <laughs> Armor breaker for the fucking win. Let's go. Armor breaker is the tits all the time. And this level is just so frustrating that I don't care about using this cheap ass weapon. Because the amount of crap they make you fight. Yeah, I've got a green screen now. I got one. So we are have a green screen for the background. Right. Oh, there we go. I lost my S rank because this thing shot a machine gun at me. That cost me an S rank. Yay. But yes, there is a, a green screen behind me. I got a B. It would have been an S if that one single machine gun thing didn't hit me. So that one machine gun bullet hit me, no ass rank for you. It's not the green screen, that's at the office. And the original green screen is broken, so it's only there for um, nostalgia's sake. We can't use it anymore, it did get broken unfortunately. Now this is a brutal moment as well, to fight three of these things at once. I think on all difficulties they make you fight this exact loadout, and it is fucking brutal. These are one of like, the most like aggressive enemy types. It's an incredibly aggressive enemy type. And it has like a weird like rage mode that no other enemy has for some reason when you destroy one of the other ones. So like they fight in pairs or threes, and if you destroy one, the other two get annoyed. It's a really neat mechanic for an enemy type, which is because it's from Halo, and that's what the Hunters do. Yeah, so I figured I'd get a green screen, you know. I could use it, but I don't want to, because it'd like make my PC run a little bit slower, I'm not about that life. The stream might drop one frame every like five years, so that's an unacceptable drop in quality, I think. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they are. I like that. Is there some way you can sneak? Oh, God, no! Like, look at, like, how aggressive these enemies are, and you can see why I'm just, like, not fucking around. Like, if you get, like, just bum rushed, you get killed. No fucking around. Bam! No, thank you. All of those fights are terrible. You wish. It is your choice. They'll never know. Not suspicious at all. Doesn't matter. I was already midway through the animation to kill it. Get fucked. Nothing it can do. Shit, what else spotted me? Oh god. Oh god, there's another one. No. No. Huh. Huh. <laughs> this is like a little thing you can hide from these in here. They don't like it, but because they can't fit in, it is an option that you have, and there's a guy in here. Hey. Full health, thank you. So 
So I always just found that kind of funny. Uh. For the insult. Where's the other one to spawn? Oh, there we go. Nothing suspicious, just a, just a cardboard box in the sewers. Look at it. He's not happy. He's gone. It's mash B, mash B, mash B. So the instant that the option becomes available, I can kill it. That'll do. Done. Oh shit! There's an extra one on very hard mode, I forgot. He's not spotted me yet though. He's too busy trying to get into his spawn position. Done. He was, he was too busy trying to get into the place it was supposed to spawn, so he couldn't attack me. Nice. Whee! Done. And that one. Just for the insult. Because I know it's going to cost someone somewhere money. Now, this has been a great playthrough for the um, uh, all the bullshit I've done to the enemy. Oh, we've seen a lot of like weird um, uh, glitches and interactions in this run. This might be one of the ones I upload to YouTube. So if it is, hi YouTube. Why are you not watching this shit live? I do it every week. Join me. It's very fun. Especially when we get drunk. That one. I like I was talking about like, you need stealth missions to be special to. As if that's not like fucking sick ass anyway. So that wasn't like the sickest shit anyone's ever seen. Give me that! Oh, it's still no damage so far! This little gecko. Fuck yeah! S rank. No, they won't. So there's a bunch of child brains in there. Spoilers. Dodge, 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 dodge. Try and do this without getting hit. Try and do it without getting hit. So difficult to do without getting hit. Oh no! Try to dodge the explosion, then got hit by the the kick. Give me my energy drink. Yeah! Monster energy. Get hype. See, they're going to rage mode. We're not having none of that. Do not let robots get salt. Bad idea. Boop. I must take a doom. The doom. Come on. Doom. Look at it. It's adorable. It should be in Raiden's colour scheme. You should be all like yellow and shit. Bam! Now do a thumbs up. Aw oh, man. You should do a big goofy thumbs up. That'd be cool. A little robot doing a cool goofy thumb like. Eh. Fuck you. On it. But first, I've got something to do. They might. But it's hard to open fire when your entire brain is just casserole. Hell yeah, it will. Oh, that scream. The scream on that one is amazing. Is the... Ah! He hates it. Hey, what's up? That's right. It was me. Tiny Gecko Man. Now let's get this final one. Let's see if we can do the 360 no-scope um, with the Dwarf Gecko. Dwarf Gecko 360 no-scope. You ready? Yeah! <laughs> Gotta do it. Just when you have to do it to him. S rank, come on. Yeah, S rank Dwarf Gecko play. And while you watch this cutscene, I'm going to go get myself another beer.
What a mess. Oh, it's this dipshit. Yeah! Guy we're never gonna see in gameplay. Yeah, I did. Woo! Beer's a bit lively. Oh no! So I'll sort it back out in a sec, folks. Give me a moment. That happens just on occasion. Just, it's an old Elgato and it's like the software just sometimes doesn't like. We can fix it, just go. Oh, is he gonna, are you going to play me like this, Elgato? USB device not recognized? Really? I've used this USB device a lot. Give me a sec, so just unplug and plug back in. Easy peasy. The Elgato. And this is one of those things where it really confuses me. Like the Elgato is the industry standard to the point where I don't think there is an alternative for an Elgato. Like to exist out there anywhere. Or at least not one that like, is integrated with like every bit of streaming software ever. And yet, they just don't work as advertised. <sighs> there we go, I've got my beer. We're ready, yes. Unfortunately, you can't. Only subs can spam emotes, because you know what? It's my stream and I do what I want. Oh, hello. War crime. Yes, I do play Scorch in Titanfall. How can you tell? Oh, yeah. Million front flips. War crime. This is just like the Conan O'Brien, like, only I may dance. So why can only you dance Kono Brian? So like, well, I guess it is your show, so. Done. War crime. Killing a sleeping opponent. Mm. I do think that's like the one good Twitter account about gaming of like, can you break the Geneva Convention? And it's just like, yeah, pretty much every fucking video game ever you can break the Geneva Convention. Kinda sucks. It's kinda weird how normalized this is. I know he's all the way over here, and I don't need to be here, but fuck this guy. He's going to wake up, and he's got no, like, torso. How's that feel? Yeah, you all saw it. So now what's coming up is the hardest fight in the game. I said, like, the gecko at the start is one of the hardest. It's, like, one of the hardest, but you it's against one thing. This fight coming up is the hardest fight in the game. It's harder than Armstrong. It's harder than Jetstream Sam. It's harder than the uh, the boss rush. Like, legitimately the hardest thing in the entire game. And it's all because, rather than make you, like, make the enemy more difficult, they make you fight two. Possibly one of my least favourite tropes in video games of how do you make this encounter more difficult? Just make you fight two of an enemy that was very specifically tuned to be fought one-on-one. -on -one. Like the grad is. Because the grad, it flits between using long range and short range attacks. That's its whole deal. Its gimmick is short range, long range attacks. But when you fight two, it can use both of those attack modes simultaneously. So the only hope that I've got is I can take out the second one. Because this is what can happen. You get stun locked by that one, so... I'm going to have to go for the one that doesn't have a life bar because I have a chance to one-hit kill it. And just folks at home, let, tell me if you can figure out anything that's going on on screen. So this, oh, that's the one with the health bar, so that's the one that I don't fight. So I'm going to restart. Because that was just a bad roll. So I leave this one alone. Because that's the one that can be... That's the one with the life bar and fight this one. This is the one that I can kill instantly if I can run at it. Nope. Just don't. Block this one. Run away, run away, run away, run away. No. Like not if this fight gets rolled, like the momentum, if it's in the uh, grad's favour, you're dead. There's nothing you can do. So I need to hope that I can get a, a quick kill on this thing. Done. So I hope I can get a quick kill. Done. Right. So now it's a fair fight. Now on very hard, the grad is very hard when it's a boss fight when you can't instant kill it. But if that fight 
the second grad just can sneak up behind you and hit you with missiles that stunlock you, you're fucked. Uh, I think Solid Snake does suffer from um, imposter syndrome. Like his whole existence is hinged on the fact he's a clone of the greatest soldier who ever lived. And that greatest soldier who ever lived also suffers from imposter syndrome because they took a mantle from the other greatest soldier who's ever lived. It's kind of their whole deal. And then the boss also suffers with imposter syndrome because she doesn't think she's a better soldier than the Sorrow. And the Sorrow didn't give a fuck, Sam. Woo! No, don't stun lock with these machine guns. Anime. Anime. Just not really a bad grad fight. I think this took me about an hour when I did it on Revengeance mode because I just couldn't figure out a way to reliably kill the second one without the first one just coming up behind and annihilating me. Done. It's over. I'll take an A for that rank. What's the reverse of imposter syndrome? Being a fucking legend. Yeah, it's Armstrong. It's the best boss fight of this generation. Jesus! I think everybody has a bit of imposter syndrome. So you get that great comic of like, just artists be like, a modern artist like, will I ever be as good as the old masters? And it's like, goes back to like, you know, the... Monet and all that stuff, like, will I ever be as great as the old masters? It's like, Da Vinci, will I ever be as great as the old masters? And it's like a caveman, it's like, I'm the fucking best. And of course, because I'm playing the most America game ever, I'm drinking a crappy American light beer. Which I like. And I've never understood when I get, like, comments from people like, ooh, that's a shit beer. It's like, well, you don't have to drink it, do you? I've never understood that there are people out there who legitimately get annoyed or frustrated that I'm drinking a beer that they don't like. It's like, it doesn't affect you in the slightest, why do you care? Done. So I made really good time on this mission. This is normally a roadblock for um, uh, very hard mode and above. And we're in. Beer is fucking gross. So what's your opinion? And your opinion is incorrect. It gets you drunk and it's cheap. S bus bus. That makes sense. Miss that combat encounter because fuck that combat encounter. It sucks ass. Body. I will be blue. Because I'm going to beat up the police. And here's the bit from the game that I mentioned in that one video where everybody, despite me being as clear as possible, missed the prompt of, hey, name a video game where you fight the police, where it's the police and not a stand-in. Ooh, Dishonored, you fight the Dishonored police. It's like, well, that's not the fucking police, is it? That's the universe's, like, analogue to the police. Very different. It's a very important distinction. So I'm not going to get into it because I'm... So Every time I mention it, people just keep, like, misunderstanding the prompt, and it annoys me so. You fight the police in this, it's super weird. I wish more people talked about it. Bullseye! Hey, copper. Fight without legs. Parry. Oh. I'm going to parry war. Who's the real fucking OG? And I hate how in this one, if you mess up once, you fuck it up. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> so I've already got people missing the fucking prompt. Okay, so I'll clarify the prompts one more time. It is a game where you fight the police. It is presented as the morally correct choice. And you are playing as, quote unquote, a hero. You can be like, you know, an anti-hero type character, 
but you have to be your actions have to be presented as heroic. In prototype, you are a living virus that eats people. You are not heroic. This is what a hero looks like. Soak it in. This is a hero. So no, prototype does not count. You are a living virus murdering people to add to your own biomass. Oh, can I get three at once? Can the police actually do something to help a citizen and, like, restore my electrolytes? Let's find out. Yes, yes, they can. Thank you for the electrolytes, officer. Finally, a police officer doing something to help the public good. No legs. You know what? No. Yes, that is the other clarification. The cops can't be presented as Batman. So in Batman, so oh, you fight the cops in Batman, but they're presented as corrupt cops. But they're never going to have any TV show, movie, or video game where Batman fights the police. Except for that new Batman with Robert Pattinson, which is really funny. Like when Batman's just there around normal cops, and they're like, this guy fucking sucks. And come up, Gordon's like, no, he's alright. It's like, he sucks. He beats people up without due process. Take that, war crime bot. No damage, A rank. I was too good. So you can actually be too fast in this game. Oh, there he is, look. Like this, look. This is a police officer right here doing his rounds. In his view, there's a terrorist here. In my view, free goo. Like, when you walk into a shop and there's just hand sanitizer everywhere now, and you're like, yeah. That's what Ryan's doing, look, just. Everyone he walks past, like, fuck yeah, look. Free hand sanitizer, let's go. Do, do, do. Fuck this one guy in particular who appears below here. Yeah, target located. What are you going to fucking do about it? What do you do when you say target located and the target just starts doing this? What do you do? Like, what can the police do when they try and open a clip into an innocent civilian in the back and the innocent civilian's like, no, fuck you. Oh, shoot him, still look at that. That's a real police officer. Just shooting, like, collateral damage who gives a fuck. Right. Hand sanitizer, let's go. Look at that, Ryden knows. Calling for a back. I will, because it means I get to kill more police officers. Take that, citizen. Take the bus. It's more environmentally friendly. Let's do it. So this is like a really hard combat encounter. Just because this enemy type is super annoying. But let's see if we can get like a good parry like chain on the go. If you get a decent parry chain on the go, you can kill them all in one go. Come on. When you get them all blue. If it's blue, it's true. Get two at once if they line up. Yeah! The two at once. I hate that kick. One of the most threatening moves in the entire game. I'm not kidding, that kick is it's so fast and comes without any warning. And that explosion's gonna go off, so I need to dodge this way. And I dodge into the kick. Again, look, the kick. So threatening. Don't fuck with the kick. Oh, so I'm glad. We've not got just the glut of awful, terrible suggestions. Like the Dishonored one, like, slayed me. Well, does Dishonored count? No. You're not fighting the police. It's a made-up universe with fictional police in it. Like, this is ostensibly based in our world, just a more um, technologically advanced version of it. Like, you're even in a city. The name drop city is Denver. That's where everyone's favourite dinosaur came from. They 
Look at that, look at that, the police destroyed my car. What a bunch of fucking pricks. You go, lady. You sell those cell phones. Good for you. Destroy the Coke machines. The Coke Zero machines are the key to all of this. Can I animate it? Anime! I love how many backflips. It's so pointless. And yet, yeah, so hilarious. Oh yeah, and the ones with the machine guns just constantly shoot at you so you can never get a perfect S rank on this level ever. When will video games learn? That's not fun. Ads that do this like the worst shit ever. Whoop. Ooh! Oh, the stomp. I'll take that. Thank you. No, it's like this is a, a hyper-militarised police state with um, just nebulous, constant surveillance under the, uh, the guise of uh, keeping you safe from terrorists. It's like something we talked about in a video recorded today, actually, me and Nisha. Um, we talked about like, the boys, which we won't spoil, because the boys are very good, but like... Um, I had my theory for the next season, and it's so fucking depressing when I said it out loud. I'm like, they probably will do this. Look at the cops just find rocket launchers indoors. That's the thing, like, the police do this. Like, the amount of stories about police, like, throwing flashbangs into babies' cribs. Like, not one, like, multiple stories and examples of the police doing that. So you have to just block these guys so many times. It's just boring. I wish they were a rarer enemy type, so these fights would be a lot more um, fun. But they just get frustrating because you have to just do this so stupid fucking song and dance over and over again. I've just... That's a real so you can look that up. Multiple stories of police just throwing flashbang grenades into babies' cribs. In houses where they got the wrong address. So it wasn't even like a criminal living there. They just got the wrong address. And kicked the door down. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, that's in my robot. If you want to, like, explain, just say, like, the hyper-advanced, like, robotics in my body are hacking every button I press. If that makes it sound any better. That's most likely what's happening. It's just my hyper-advanced robotics are hacking everything. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that helicopter go. Right, let's do this. Dun. No, you. He turned around and saw me, but it doesn't matter. No mercy. Oh, to the wrist. Fist to the wrist, just the way they like it. Pointless backflips. Yeah, like that Superman clip, where like Superman just is typing on a computer and he just types really, really fast and guesses a password. Anyone around? I feel that was good. No ranking, though. I took no damage. Oh! I'm gonna have to make this jump out. Haul ass, haul ass, haul ass. Oh, oh! The amount of unnecessary backflips is so fun. Where are the flying enemies? There's always a flying enemy in this section. I fucking hate it. Where are they? There you are. Kill this guy first. Always just kill the flyers first. Look at that, I've already taken 0.3% damage so I can never get an S rank. And I killed them. I knew they were there and killed them instantly and still got hit. 
It's a really unfair mechanic. Oh, I see him. I see him sneaking up behind me. Oh, I see him as well. He's about to fucking swing. Man's about to swing. Yeah. Do backflip. I, um... I had a story about that. I did some research but couldn't really find anything too interesting about it. I watched, like, The Batman, the uh, Robert Pattinson one. Couldn't find anything too interesting to talk about, but um, a little tidbit I found is that Robert Pattinson um, was uh, really involved with, like, the making of the bat suit. And there was a lot of insistence that the bat suit had to be manoeuvrable because almost every Batman movie has just had the actor not be able to move properly, including, like, the Christian Bale outfit. And the first thing Robert Pattinson did when he climbed his the Batman suit was do a full backflip. And he kept backflipping between takes. And his reasoning was, just because I could. So they kept asking, like, why are you doing backflips in the bat suit? He's like, well, I can. Why would, if I'm, I'm dressed like Batman and I can do a backflip, why would I not do a fucking backflip? A backflip, if you will. But I couldn't find anything too interesting to talk about. Just like that amusing tidbit. So maybe I'll turn it into like a TikTok video or something. We shall see. Another incredibly annoying fight against, like, another helicopter. They keep making you fight aerial things despite Raiden only having two moves he can use in the air, both of which are terrible. I got so sick of that because I'm Batman thing. I thought how it should have ended, like, ironically, should have ended, like, years ago. And that got so fucking old so fast. And I struggle to think what got older faster. The how it should have ended all the Batman stuff. Or um, that how can you pet the dog Twitter account. It's like no one can just have a good idea. It's got to be like just driven into the ground. I say running fact feet for the fifth year. You never fight cops in the PS2 Punisher game. You fail the game if you shoot a police officer. It is an instant game over if you shoot an innocent civilian or a police officer. And this is a guy here straight up telling the police why are you abusing my rights? And his response is right. So this is the police extrajudicially executing an innocent civilian. Uh, you instantly fail that punish again if you ever kill an innocent. Uh, which includes police officers and security guards. Yeah, no good idea can ever just be a good idea. And that's good for me, because it means I'll be able to keep my coasting off back theme for years. Fuck yeah. Until I get to a point where I'm not willing to, um, uh, just say things on the green screen anymore. Come on! Come on! He's right there, look! If I don't hit him, this civilian dies. Come on! No! I was like an inch away from killing him. I just fucked it up. We need to do it. I don't always save all of these, but I feel like this one you need to save because he's being attacked by the police. Looks so rad. Well, you hear him as well, like, you're supposed to be cops. No. Oh, no! Like, Raiden's, like, mid-air. Red Phosphorus. I can't, I can't get over how fucking slow Raiden goes. Oh, for fuck's sake. He turns around so fucking slow for that section. I should have just left it. I think I got him. Your saviour is here. I, 
Okay. Oh, come on! No! The police! They're all bastards! They can't help... Last thing, even when you're like, you run a million miles an hour, the police, they just can't help themselves. Like, they have to shoot an innocent person. It's like the police just get a rash if they go, like, two days without shooting someone's dog. Really? That's a real thing as well, look it up. The police shoot like 1,500 dogs a day. Or something ridiculous like that. Oh, fuck off! Like, it's so bad. The stealth sections in this suck so much ass. But yet they tie this really awkward mechanic to it. Get this guy. Oh, fuck's it. Why is it meant? Oh, this is like a really specific thing to mention, but it's like the mad. If anyone played Max Payne, where your character will aim the way the camera's facing, not the way their character is facing. Are you fucking kidding me? You just turned around. Well, they're not spotting me out. Okay, cool. Look well, at it's just instant. The instant they think someone's looking, better shoot this guy in the back of the head. What do you fucking do? For fuck's sake. It's so finicky. Sake. I'm trying not to like run up this air conditioning unit, so I'm trying to like do something to stop riding moving. At least you've got a quick restart. Now the amount of games that don't have quick restarts, looking at you Dark Souls. A series that's entirely about um, doing things over and over again, and it has one of the worst, oh, for fuck's sake, the worst loading and um, uh, respawn times of anything I've ever played. It is almost hilariously poor how badly that game runs. And then people say, well, you're supposed to just get good. So how am I supposed to get good if I can't replay missions? Oh, fuck's sake, it happened again. So I guess it's going to be one of those days where my Elgato just keeps turning off, and I'm really sorry about that. There's not much I can do about it. Um, the Elgato is just shit. Just every now and again, it has a fucking mare. And just does this. Like I say, it's really frustrating that it's the industry standard with how poor it runs. Oh, Henna Dog with a subscription. Thank you. The Bezos Bucks. Take one dollar out of his pocket and put it in mine. It'll be better spent. Because I'll spend it on something that contributes to the economy. Instead of, like, a fourth yacht. Oh, come on! It's, it's happening instantly. Maybe I can just go straight for these security guards. Let's try and go straight for these security guards. No. Maybe I can fire a rocket launcher. Maybe I can like, fire a rocket launcher. Because I think the civilians are immune to like this stuff. So I can just... Go like this and just go... I think he'll be okay if I just keep doing this. Yeah, okay, they're distracted. Excellent. So he can survive getting hit with a rocket launcher, but not a bullet to the back of the head. Got it. No, 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 I see him. You, you, you land to suffer. now. You suffer.
There we go. Saved him. How's five feet? We're not bad. I fucking won't, mate. Uh, 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 uh. My channel's doing fine. He's suffering from the same downfall that all things do. Um, all YouTube channels eventually lose um, uh, steam. Same with all things. So there's a reason that Simpsons is still going yet consistently gets like really poor reviews and everyone keeps saying like let it die. But now we're more just making our own stuff and having fun. Hence why I every week just get drunk and play Metal Gear Revengeance. Uh, 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 uh. Spin, 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 spin. Nailed it. This must be the railroad. <laughs> that fucking voice. Just, this'll be the railroad. He's talking about the fucking Emperor. So... I know where it is I'm going, so I'm gonna run. This section sucks ass, so... Gonna sprint straight through. Uh. My favourite part of the Metal Gear Solid universe is this bit. The fact that Raiden is in canon, just a weird cyborg ninja. Just keep running. Join me. The fact was not like a bit fighting someone on a train. Like you have to the jet stream sand fight. Or the redux. What an annoying enemy type. And this game for the most part is like really interesting enemy types. Well, a couple of like the like moves that they have. Like that one of jumping off the wall and breaking your lock on. Seems a little strange. No, oh, don't worry, I'll know where the shaft is. Raiden always knows where the shaft is, so just jump in a circle in here to attract all the enemies. That lights everything back up. Kill this thing. Yep. And that's what the geckos are the most dangerous thing in the game. Because they can do that. They can grab you and leave you open to other enemies' attacks. It's incredibly dangerous. Especially when some of the enemies have like attacks that can just annihilate you. And they can grab you midway through animations as well. It's not something a lot of enemies can do. Oh man, Jago one more for that. Subscribe for 13 months, but doesn't know I do it every week. That's like... Did you, is that like a gym membership that you just forgot and just left subscribe? It's like, ah, fuck it, I'll go eventually. Not on complaining, thank you. I'm on it. To the wrist. Take out the annoying guy. Oh, look at that. Cut his cheeks in half. Drop kick. Yeah, I know, Blade Wolf. Give me a sec. On it. Done. Done. Man, armor breaker's great. This is a great weapon. No complaints, 10 on 10. Like, no notes. Oh God, don't shout it louder, why don't you, Boris? Just like, enemy ahead! It's like, well, yeah. Like, I'm in a city and the police are here. You don't have to say the enemy is ahead. It's just implied. Oh, I got hit by his own teammate's rocket launcher. Kind of awesome. Woo! How about you stop with that? Wouldn't that be a fun idea? Oh! Right to the gooch. The old grobular region. 
Have I ever explained the meaning behind the word grob on stream before? Or is it just a word that I say and no one has any context for? I don't think so. Okay, so. Um, years ago at this point, um, like my stepdad just went shopping and he bought himself like a bunch of underwear from like a Polish shop. He's like, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. I need to wear them for work. And I change my underwear like twice a day anyway. Because I, like, I work on a building site and I get fucking sweaty. So he's bought like this like 15 pack of cheap ass underwear from a Polish shop. And on them it said the words large grob. It, and we just like thought it was so funny. Because we just thought grob meant knob. Because it sounded like knob. It didn't. It was just large in Polish or whatever language it was that the things were. But just for years, we just kept saying, oh man, I've got a proper itchy grob. Oh. And my mum hated it, so we said it more. Just every single time, it's like, oh man, I, I could proper go for now. Oh god. Oh, go for right grob scratch. So you know what? It's right pain in the grobular region, that. Oh, it's coming. I love how they, they run so cool. Oh my god, it got you in like one quarter of a second. So it's just like large grob. And we just said it all the time, it's so funny. It's just such a, an amusing word to say. So I'll probably not explain what this sword does, but Armor Breaker has a 20% chance to break all armor it connects with. But for UGs, because they're just robots, they technically count as just being entirely armor. So you have a 20% chance on any strike to effectively insta-kill them. As long as you maintain uh, enough electrolytes to use a uh, blade mode. There it is. Thunderbolt Cafe. Stimulating drinks. So every, like, UG in the game has a chance to be insta-killed by this thing. And then you have the stun blade, which I think on paper is better. Because it has a 20% chance to stun every enemy, which puts them into that insta-kill state. And that's better because you don't have to have electrolytes to pull off the um, insta-kill move. You just need to be close enough to press the button. No damn, I can't believe I took no damage doing that. I felt like I got hit by like 16 rocket launchers. Speaking of which. Switch it up for... Actually, I don't want Sam's Blade. That's too edgy. The edginess. Let's go for a high frequency machete for the last bit. We'll fight Monsoon with a machete. Boop. Just I love how fast you swing it. Shut up. I love his speech. Like, isn't this a bit much? Yeah, I did. He was experimenting on children. How is this, like, a moral quandary? I heard you cut him in half. So, yeah, he was experimenting on children and pulling the brains out of their real plunger. Yes, I am, I'm literally going to fix everything with this little sword. That's literally the plot of this game. It is literally my entire character arc is realise I can kill everyone with my little sword. And it's even funny because I've now actually got a little sword. And this is the bit I always like to point out as being incredibly funny and ironic. Because this is the bit where they try and make you feel sorry for the police officer. Like, look, they were forced into it. They're being like brainwashed by robots as one of them fires a rocket launcher in an enclosed public space. But you can say what the fuck you want, but like, they're firing rocket launchers in like, innocent space. I don't care how much they say they've been brainwashed. You'd think someone's moral programming would kick in at that point and be like, I'm not going to do this because this might hurt an innocent. Or well, at the very least, like, if it's like the police says the eyes, like, this might hurt an innocent in a way that's really difficult to, like, deny. It's really hard to avoid culpability when you find rocket launchers at, like, skyscrapers. So like, they're the ones calling me a terrorist. And they're the ones firing explosives into, like, look at all the people! How many people are in all these buildings? Whoop. So Raiden's just like, me with a hangover. This will be me tomorrow if I get too drunk fighting Armstrong. I'm like, 
Why? Why did I have that third shot of tequila? Uh, which I keep meaning to get the stuff in to make margaritas. So I think having margaritas while I thought Armstrong would be really fun. So I'd have like, you know, an, an arm, uh, or make like an Armstrong drink. So it's really strong and it's like red because he glows red. That's maybe so I could do. I could make like themed cocktails. Maybe one day I'll figure, I'll do like a full day stream of this. And do like themed cocktails for each boss fight. That's an idea. Because I think the next big stream we're doing for the um, side channel, after we've done Brad's of the roleplay, which is coming, it's just that Brad's moving. And he's moving back to Sheffield actually, so he'll appear in more videos after that point. But um, we're planning on doing a hype fest, which is going to be like a 24 hour stream, so all of our streams can get like a couple hours of um, uh, like play on the main channel. And what I'm going to do for mine is I'm going to just play a bunch of hype games like this one. And that's one of the things I might do. I might set up like a cocktail tasting or something and do like make the cocktails um, uh, for the boss fights. They'll never know. And that as well, that feels like a really underbaked mechanic. And like something that was in the base game before it got like um, uh, changed to be what it is now. Of like the whole like blowing stuff up to create stealth. Because it never comes into play. There's one section of the game where you can actually do it. For the rest of it you just throw those red phosphorus grenades. So me with a hangover look. And each of these guys just represents like my alarm going off look. This is what it's like when you've got a hangover and your alarm's going off. Just, oh, I don't want to go to work today. Oh, no, no. Oh. So what does it feel like to be on 0.1% health and still getting your ass kicked? That's a, look, that's a bad day, isn't it? Just, oh, and Jetstream sounds watching this all kick off. I'm like, please. Please, like... They might even knock me out of the fight arena. They could knock me away from the fight arena at this point. Can I sneak past? There we go. I need to go talk to Jetstream Sam. Should you get close to him to have the conversation? Looks like not so black and white, yes. These guys who murder innocent civilians on the reg. And you, guy who's trying to stop them from maybe not doing that. Surely there is equivalency between these two actions. You can get mods for this game, hell yeah. It's on PC, you can get mods for anything. My name is and I'm the best boss fight in the game. Except for that other one. So I'm going to get myself another beer while you guys watch this. I'm going to attempt to get some tequila now. You know what, I might bring some tequila through for the um, Armstrong fight instead of my bourbon as usual. Because I've got some really nice tequila I've not had in years. Will is a myth. Religion is a joke. 
So the joke I always make here is that this is just Reddit the guy. And here's my tequila. This is Olmeca Tequila Blanca. And uh, I usually have a shot of this on my birthdays. And um, uh, when Donald Trump lost, me and my girlfriend had like five shots of this and got absolutely fucking hammered. Yeah, it's like listening to fucking Jordan Peterson over here. You have no choice nothing to answer for. Like, oh, it's like animals in the wild kill each other, so it's natural for humans to do it. So animals in the wild eat their own shit, Jordan. Do you eat your own shit? Do, do, you, do you eat your own shit? No, I think you don't. Do you live in a house? Do you live in a house, Jordan? Do you pay taxes? Do you have a bank? It's almost like you're not an animal. Duh. And then people say he's a genius. Fucking moron. But here I am, surrounded by death. I get so annoyed when you speak to those guys who talk about like, oh yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's only nature. Because, yeah, it's, like, if it was only nature, you'd be eating fucking berries in the woods. Then you admit it. It's like, oh, you only see a man reveal his true self when he's on the battlefield. It's like, all right, fucking Odysseus, calm down. Ooh, his message right. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill. The bit about my sword. That means oh, my, my friends have spent the last, like, day arranging a pub quiz. Check when I was knee deep in bodies. So, you? I've not, like, tuned in at all, so I should probably, like, chill. Who's, who's messaging me? <gasps> oh my god, yes. The Guitar Hero controllers have been saying? posted. I'm saying Jack is back. Ugh. So while like, you know, we we memeing. While we're out here, we memeing, we morbin. Getting the memeing the memeing and the morbin on the go. Talk about the fact on the twenty eighth of August, here in the lovely city of Sheffield. <gasps> oh no! Turn off my cringe inhibitors. Sort Reddit by noon. So, oh no, the casual racism, it's too much. All right. But on the 28th of August in the lovely city of Sheffield, we will be hosting uh, another live event. This is hopefully one we can do um, uh, uh, once a month, and it will be a rock band karaoke night. So it'll be held in a local gaming bar. There's a bunch of gaming stuff. There's Switches, there's PCs, there's Xboxes, there's PS4s. People like play games. You can bring car games, they do drinks, they do food. Uh, you, you, they even have like a system where you can order McDonald's and stuff to the place. And um, what we'll be doing is throughout the evening, uh, we've got a big old, uh, we're going to print off a big old karaoke sheet for songs that people want to play or sing along to. And uh, once we've got a good enough number, we'll be bringing down a screen, hopefully, if we can get it all figured out, and playing um, uh, Rock Band with a crowd. So if that sounds interesting, you keep the 28th of August free. Tickets will be going on sale soon. They'll be announced first in my Discord. So the first place they'll probably be announced is like the Discord of myself and all the other members of the channel. I don't have theirs to mind though. Then it'll be um, on social media and then finally the channel. So and we feel like that's like the best way to do it. Of it's like first announce the people who like taking that extra step or two to like you know be closer to our like you know own content away from Fact Fiend. Then the next step beyond that, which is social media, which is a more casual, and then just the channel itself. So. You're like us after all. You're a horrible murderer. Alright, so I'm going to turn the volume up my end, but you let me know how the volume is for you guys at home. You love so much. Remember when he says no one calls me Jack the Ripper? And literally every person he's fought so far has called him it. Also, I guess if you're watching this on YouTube, um, it might be linked below if I can remember to do that or not, but... Yeah! The edge! So edgy! Let's go. Let's edge it up. Fight Jordan Peterson. Currently shitting his pants because his wife divorced him. Ugh. Ting. That even looks like him, like. Do you know what my favourite bit is? It's very thematically appropriate this guy to be Jordan Peterson. Because the instant you, like, metaphorically or literally parry anything he does, his entire argument crumbles. 
Oh, that's right. I've had a few drinks, but I can still like chat shit. Like, come at me, weird tech bros. Like, Joe Rogan's also a piece of shit and an idiot. What? Yeah! Let's go. What? Do it. Turn the sky into helicopters, bro. Do it. You know what? First one's free. I want to take another. You know what? Again. I will give, like, the voice out of a monsoon props, though. Like, his, like, screams of rage during this fight are hilarious. Like, his. Well, I've only got one EM grenade, so. I better fucking make sure this is useful. Let's go. And I say like this is the best fight in the game, and I actually think it might be, if only because Monsoon is the only boss fight, you are unable to cheat. You can't, you can like, force him down to his next phase, but he has five distinct phases. Like, he throws the helicopters. Yeah! My utopia of death! Like, he has the helicopter throwing phase, he has the ball of helicopters phase, and then he has the initial fight, and then he has the teleports, and then he has this bit here. So even if you, like, cheese him down to each phase, because he has five of them, it still feels like a complete fight. Whereas you compare that to, like, Blade Wolf, where, like, Blade Wolf, you can kill him in ten seconds. Same thing with, like, Sundowner and stuff. And thanks to his ability here, even on the very like, easiest mode, he still has the capability to make the fight last a bit longer. So you get to see more of his stuff and feel more of his like, in-game and combat personality. And I wish they'd found a way to like, balance the rest of the game so that you got to experience this for every boss fight. Because like Blade Wolf, God bless him, I don't think we've had a Blade Wolf fight in any of these streams that last more than a minute. And that's, oh, I think the only time it ever lasts more than a minute is when I try and show off the I will obliterate your consciousness line. So the only way to get, like, um, Monsoon to stop Michael Jackson in is you have to force him to uh, move a lot or parry. Oh, I missed. Come on. Done. Basically, he just runs out of energy and eventually will stop doing it. Uh, yes, Lucas has as well. Rock Band 4, and he has about four to 500 songs because he paid the money to put near enough every song that's ever been in a Rock Band game into Rock Band. Uh, maybe when we announce it and we can start talking more about what he has, because um, he's over, not next week, but the week after that, to test this when all the equipment arrives at the office, and one of the things we'll do is we'll go through what exactly he has. And we'll make a list, and maybe I'll, like, reach deep into those um, uh, Fact Fiend coffers and give him some money to download. Like, cause I know that Rock Band to this day still gets DLC. Because this is something we are planning on making into a regular thing. The plan is, if this goes well, we are hoping to do this like once a month or bi-monthly. And uh, I have like tentative deals in place with the bar in which we're doing it. Uh, to if we get enough people to do it, they'll say we'll happily have like a just um, uh, day of the month set aside for you to do this, and you can even get a share of the bar's profits if you can consistently get a good amount of people in, which will allow them to. And instead, if we can do that, they'll lower our deposit. And if they lower our deposit, that means we can charge less for the tickets because we can still get guaranteed to make some money doing it. Because they'll still be like, oh, the associated cost. Like, I've got to buy the equipment. Lyrics! Yeah! Parry! Parry! Oh, send the legs in. Oh, okay. So if I... I usually see it as a good sign if I can parry all three of those bits. Uh, it's not £200 on the bar. It's £1,000 on the bar. Um, the deposit is 300 I got my... Cost mixed up because I was remembering what the other bar quote would mean. I had like two bars quotes in my head. So 
Okay, so a thousand pounds behind the bar. If we clear that, we get a deposit of three hundred pounds back. But there's still a lot of expenses, such as like Lucas, Nisha, Brad, their travel and expenses, um, hosting costs, so like, you know the bar, and then some money for the channel's coffers. Because this is ultimately one of the things we're doing to so just get a little bit more money for the channel's coffers. Oh my god, that's a lot of helicopters. Like in addition to like the Patreon and like the sponsored content that we've done. This is one of the things that we do in like, you know, add a little bit of extra money to those um, big wangers coffers. And rule! And it will go! Man sending some fucking like copters on me. Let's go. It knows. Uh, 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 uh. Bam, you can hear those clicks. Do it. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna try and dodge these. Cause you can dodge if you run, it's really hard. Ah! Join me. Oh, it's Jack. Nature is for us. Let's go. Let's so, see if I can get them all. If you get the, like, if you don't get them all, you don't get the drops. So you have to get all of them to make sure you get the uh, the drops. It's the only way to like beat him nice and cleanly. So I mean, like, even there's no way to cheese this boss fight. So it's like you, you get to hear all of his quotes, see all of the stuff he can do in combat. You get to hear the entire song. That's the thing about like Blade Wolf. You don't even hear his entire song. It lasts just long enough. It's great. The one fight in the game that is like flawless in its build up. Oh, was everyone going to see Raiden do a like a 180 katana sack tap? I don't even mention that. So to do with the frame rate when you do this next thing here, Raiden just spins. Let's go. That laugh. Get hammered, spot back theme. Well, that's the point. You don't have to. They do other things. They do snacks. They do um, uh, like regular drinks. They do soft drinks and stuff like that. I don't want anyone to feel obligated. And we're thinking that like, well, if like, we tend to be saying a hundred tickets, if a hundred people come and they buy like two drinks, that's that money at the bar sorted. Get fucked. Ugh. Can barely hear the music. Oh no! Someone sort of sh someone should have said at the start at the end, but gutted. And that's the thing. It's hopefully something we can do once a month. Your memes end here. And it allows us to, like, you know, justify. Um, it also as well gives me an excuse. This is one of the, the other reason we want to do this. We, I say me. Is that I have the excuse to pay um, uh, Lucas, Brad, and Nisha an appearance fee, you know, to for their travel. It's kind of going to be a bit useless for Brad and Nisha because they're going to live in Sheffield. Because it was previously it was Brad lived all the way down south, Lucas lived in Liverpool, Nisha lives in Sheffield, but a bit further out, which you can drive. But um, uh, Brad will be moving to Sheffield at the end of next month. But still, it means that it gives Lucas an excuse to travel down because he's get basically he's going to get paid money. To come travel down and we can use that you know to film and do other good stuff and it means well, i can give brad nisha and lucas a essentially a free night out i can just give them 50 quid and say buy yourself some drinks enjoy yourself meet some people who are fans of a channel you killed monsoon i'm impressed i'm southern which means i'm a prick it's the rule if you're southern in a film your name's not matthew mcconaughey you're a prick 
because uh, I'm really not a big fan of the fact that like I know that I'm the face of the channel and I like you know I'm the host and I write everything. But I think like Lucas, Brad, and Nisha, they play their part. If anyone watched like the most recent How Not to Do Business, I get frustrated and annoyed when people like don't recognise their contribution to it. So it'd be nice for those guys to get like come to a bar and meet a bunch of people who are fans of the channel and just get themselves a bunch of drinks and just chill, play some rock band. Which I know they're all super eager and hyped to do. No. Take that, couch. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's the crotch. Right to the balls. So I now have access to Ripper mode canonically. I've used it once or twice in the uh, lead up to this moment. I try not to use Ripper mode at all because it is stupid broken OP. But I will use it um, during moments. Maybe like this, where it's like a get off me attack, but you need full electrolyte mode to pull it off. But well, there is a way to cheese it because every enemy kill with Zandatsu gives you full electrolytes, allowing you to um, uh, access Ripper mode, which just does this. Ripper mode just does this. So, if people didn't pick up on what I did there, I activated Ripper mode for one second, did three slashes, and then deactivated it, and it killed those three enemies. That's why I don't use Ripper mode all the time. I right. suffice to say, if I use Ripper, if I like played this game like the meta way, and I know I don't need these, but it just feels like the right here. I want to take them. Right, the meta way it would be, I activate Ripper mode at the start of every combat encounter. Um, just run up and do this attack here, because this attack can't be parried or blocked by any enemy in the game. So they just never programmed in any enemy better block this, and uh, just insta killing everything, getting one Zandatsu against one enemy, and then running away. It's like, Ripper mode is broken OP. The appear to be disabled. Which I should, should have expected. I, I like this realistic thing here of, oh, there's a terrorist trying to break in, they locked the elevator. Yeah, we should have expected that. And I love how just like realistic that reaction is of, we should have expected that. Are they? I'll put a stop to that. I'm going to hide right here. And I'm going to hide in my cardboard box. Because I'm safe inside my cardboard box. Yes, I appreciate that people do support the other members of the channel. And this is one of those ways that I'm trying to do that. Of, um, have a live event where... Because I think the last live event we did, that there was like, partly that, but also it did require a lot of like work on like our individual parts. So it felt less like a celebration of the channel and uh, more like, like another day of work. Still super fun and I really did enjoy it and I got a lot of good feedback to that but um, it's not something I feel is sustainable. Maybe like as a one-off or maybe over a couple of months we can do something else. Like maybe so thinking if we can potentially get this idea um, uh, to work. Like there's all sorts of stuff we can do besides um, uh, Guitar Hero like Dance Dance Revolution Nights um, an, an idea I've had for years now is a, um, a fighting game tournament, but it's handicapped, and it'll be handicapped by controllers. So I'll get as many cheap knockoff third-party controllers as possible. Like all the weird ones, like the Donkey Kong Bongos, Guitar Hero controllers, and stuff like that, and make people play stuff like that. Not a Halo Night, no. Nothing that's going to alienate people. Nothing that requires a level of inherent or learned skill. So I think rock band karaoke is good in the sense everyone can play on easy. If someone wants to listen to a song, we can just put it on very easy mode and let them play it. So I guess let people decide. Are we going ham or are we going to try and stealth this section? It's like a Halo night, we don't have people who like Halo. Or something like Dance Dance Revolution Night or play... Tekken 3 with the uh, Resident Evil 4 um, uh, uh, chainsaw controller. Go ham. Okay. Let's lure every enemy. Hey. Oh no! It's the instant, the instant tackle. Oh, the mid-air drop kick. Right. Join me, join me, join me, join me. We can get more. 
We can piss off more enemies. Get that one. On it. Keep pissing them off, keep pissing them off, keep pissing them off. Keep pissing them off. Like, look at how difficult it is when, like, the enemies just get a drop on you. Keep pissing them off, this will spawn in another group of enemies. Let's make it as hard for myself as I possibly can. Make this as difficult as I possibly can. And I'm going to run into the smallest room. And now we wait. Joint. Right. Ripper mode's activated. Right. Like, oh, fuck's sake. And I hate how, like, Ripper mode still goes down slowly. It's the one way enemies can fuck you up. Is to grab you during it. And that's what happened twice. Woo! Yeah. And this is what this mode is. Done. Okay, now I can reactivate Ripper mode and win. Oh, fuck's sake, they're still knocking me. They're still locking me now. They're still locking me out of Ripper mode. Damn it! They made me. They made me into a liar. Enemies not like so I lost like three four health bars trying to fight these guys. Right, Ripper mode is rough. Yeah, I, I fucked up. I got grabbed by that first enemy, and I should have like cut my losses and allowed Ripper mode to fail and then get it back during the combat encounter. You know, I'm gonna restart that. I'm not happy about losing four fucking health bars. Just tell Nida for the next section, so. I'm gonna go ham again, but this time I'm gonna be a bit careful. Really? Just immediately the drop kick can't. You saw it, the invincible enemy. No, fuck that. The electrical panels are most likely hidden in the wall. I hate this enemy. I hate them so much. There we go. That's the real Ripper mode shit. Lock it, you jump, do this attack lock. Just, it kills everything. Activate Ripper mode, jump, do three slashes, you win. That's never a chance to jump. Who's next? You. I'm not kidding. Strongest attack in the entire game. Just jump, press X. Nothing in this game can survive it. With Ripper Mode activated, is the caveat. Like these guys, look. Just jump. No, he's got no arms. His arms fell off. Do 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 slash 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 slash. Take that ergonomically designed office chair. 
Who's next? No, they don't. Don't. The power of Ripper mode. Today. Ripper mode activated. I hate it. I hate when they do attacks like this. And it's just missiles that hit you from off screen. I got me. Really annoying. Is that one random attack? Which is a rare attack. They don't often do that one, the missile barrage. Yeah, I'm on it. Done. Let's go get all my healing items. Ooh, this thing. Free cardboard box, almost like they expect a stealthy section. And this can be stealth, so just for the like shits and gigs, I've done quite well on time so far. Let's try a stealthy section. Just to show that it can be done. Done! An A. I guess it's also a horny stream, so one sec, folks. That's my boy. Not bad, love. Not bad at all. Good for her. Now, if you got it, you flaunt it. That's my motto. It's more like I've always had that. Oh, I've had that argument multiple times. Like, oh, I don't like people who, like, you know, take their shirt off on Tinder. It's like, why? If I look like that, I would. Like, it requires a not unreasonable amount of effort to achieve a body like that. If I had it, I'd show it. It's like if you could do a backflip. Like, who watching this, if they could do a backflip, would not do at least one backflip per day? Like, honestly. Like, if you could do it, you would. Oh, no! Dun, 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 dun. Destroy the coke machines. Must destroy coke machines. Dun, 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 dun. It was like super epic music. Like, the, weirdly, the only part of the game with orchestral music is like a kick ass butt rock soundtrack. Fuck me, ya? Idiots. I love how he says it. Even though I, like, I, I exaggerate how much German is on that accent. Every time I do it, I get a bit more German. Thank you. I'd like to have full health into the next section. That's all I'm doing. I got that guy's like, die! Nope. It's this, an unusual one. It's like, hell yeah. You got it, flaunt it, let's go. It's like, oh, this girl only had like cleavage pics on her Tinder profile. It's like, did she have good cleavage? It's like, well, yeah. It's like, exactly. Like, showcase your best asset, baby. Like, showcase what you've got and downplay what you don't. Like, style like 101. So here's like, I'm going to show off the power of the Ripper Mode Jump and Press X technique. So this is not a weapon that has like a unique thing. So Armor Breaker has that like 20% kill chance. The, uh, the high frequency machete does not have any unique kill potential whatsoever. It's just a weaker, shorter version of the regular HF Blade. That's how quickly it kills the grad one of the most difficult base enemies in the entire game with Ripper Mode on. Which is why we don't use Ripper Mode. Like, it is literally unfair for the enemy to use it all the time. Dun, 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 dun. Just do that straight away, why not? 
<laughs> what a fucking badass. Yes, it is, it's too easy. It makes combat too easy. And I don't want it to be too easy, but I will use it to even things out in my favour if I start to struggle. It's like the one level in the game that feels like fully fleshed out. It has like a real good sense of progression because you're literally going up. And like the locale changes a lot and stuff like that, which is really fun. I really don't like the level in the sewers and it's kind of sad that the game takes literally one mission before it puts you into a hallway. Yeah, like you're already bullying the enemies enough with Zandatsu. Let's do this. Anime. Anime! I do like activating Ripper mode though during parries. Like during those parry flashes for that. So like Raiden's glows for a split second with sex energy. Because you can like instantly deactivate Ripper mode. So you can do like really cool stuff with it. And like use it specifically during like this animation here. Of just anime and it just annihilates everything with just this cloud of slashes or like during parries or attack and defend or like this it's, oh and then deactivate it instantly so it's fun to use in that sense Ugh. I like how slow the game got. Oh, the grenade. Oh shit, two of these guys. Okay, so two Mastiffs. This is a moment where Ripper Mode might come into play if they start taking, like, life bars off me. Because we need the life bars for the bit coming up. Yeah, okay, so we need to kill this guy with a sword immediately. Shit! Damn! No. God, the timing window on that is so brutal. Yeah. Ugh. If I lose another one, I'm going to reset. Yeah. Now, that is a really brutal, like, enemy combination. Because that guy will kick you and it act basically that kick puts you straight into stun. And it's a really rough thing to get, like, instantly put into stun while those Mastiffs are knocking about. And they're a really frustrating enemy type. There we go. At least he's going to give me full health back. So, take out... Oh, for fuck's sake. I hate the guys with rocket launchers so fucking much. It's like instant. It's like the second they spawn rocket launcher. Not as bad as Ninja Gaiden's rocket launch guys who never stop firing them, but because they act like, look at that! They're so much more accurate. And I don't get how the rocket launcher of all things stops the high frequency blade. It even stops like the high frequency like Muramasa blade, which is like Sam sword, which is explicitly on paper stronger than all the other ones. Yeah, I'm going to have to activate Ripper Mode on these fuckers. We can't let the Mastiffs get... We can't let them get... No, fuck off! Right, look at them. They're so brutal on this mode. Like, you get, like, a second to break out of their attacks. And they can grab you during blocks. 
Like, during blocks. While you're blocking, they can grab you. Oh, it's so annoying! You get, like, one second! Nope. I'm not losing two. Because this next section, I'll lose another two. You ready? Rocket launch coming in. Yeah, immediately. Look. It's just instant. Instant. You don't have a chance. You do not have a chance against the rocket launcher, guys. And I do not know how anybody has ever done a no-hit run of this when those guys are in the game. And the two guys with rocket launchers spawn over here. One, two, three. Yeah, I'll fully charge this. So thankfully, I'm a decent spawn point for these like mastiffs to come in. I don't know what they're coming out of. Okay. I hate how he waits. Alright. We might be able to pull this off. Like, look at how like just instantaneous all their attacks are. Nope. <sighs> I hate the Mastiff so much in very hard mode. Especially when there's two of them. Now, I don't know what it is with like, the Desperado. Like, the regular ones are fine. Just the Desperado ones are another fucking level of difficulty. I don't know what I'm about to do this right, like losing two lives. Nope. And then of course he grabbed me out of my attack and defend. I just have to kill him and make do. Nope. No, I'm not losing three. Like you just see that they are so stupid. I love it. I love how dumb they are as an enemy. So, rocket launcher. Oh, fuck, what am I doing? I just realised I should probably equip a stronger weapon for this section. Because make this way all the Mastiffs turn up. I just realised, yeah, I shouldn't be giving the game a chance when the game's not giving me a chance. Here we go. Uh, there probably is a mod that makes every enemy Armstrong. Like, that would actually be easier in some sections. Like I said, the two grad section, if you don't use um, the tactic I did, of like armor breaker or maybe the stun blade or even like the fox blade, it is as like an exercise in like absolute just nightmarish frustration. to the wrist. Yeah, I completely forgot you can just fuck him up using uh, Stunblade. 
We can't deal with this shit. I ain't got time. Not today. Well, how much health they have as well. Okay. How about now? I completely forgot, yeah. Like, this section is where, like, the game stops giving you a chance. I should probably stop giving the game a chance. Probably not the best idea to use, like, one of the weakest weapons against some of, like, the most brutal enemy placements. Like, this next section is always, like, is brutal because there's, like, the amount of Mastiffs and, like, weird... Oh, there we go. Can you get points for this? There we go. So like he's waiting doing, like, the anime thing. I very much doubt you can get through there. The catwalk above you was connected to so a this section is stealthable. And also you can get through without like a, oh, I was about to say you can do it without like without even encountering the enemies. But this is another really brutal one in regards to like the enemies you gotta fight. So it's multiple mastiffs, like multiple of those guys with the long swords. But a lot of like high ground where they can all hide and jump from. Really picturesque, so I don't mind it as much. Just because I like good the area looks. Oh my god, that three hit. They did three hits and took off like 150 HP. But it happened in like one quarter of a second. Now look at that. It's brutal. I'm just like comboing this guy. Then right down the middle. Right down the middle for the guy with the wiggle. And I think there is like um, another healing item in it, so I'll just grab that before I go my head off. Fortunately, the game just tells you where it is. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Uh, oh, Blazing B actually in hell, fucking yeah. Um, I will never speedrun this game because the speedrun is not fun. Um, speedrunning the game requires not playing it. It requires running through it. So, for example, during times where I actually do... And I know I sometimes cheese some of the bosses, but for example, those regular enemy fights, I would either sprint straight through, and if I didn't do them perfectly, I'd reset it. And then every combat encounter you can't avoid, you do this. Which is... Um, Raiden's version of a high time. Um, it's his most damaging move. It can be cancelled into itself over and over again. Very few enemies in the game can stop it. So if you just do this over and over and over again, you'll pretty much kill every enemy in the game. Very few enemies can stop you from doing that. And he does like a consistent like 8 to 10% on bosses. So every boss falls in like 6 or 7 of them um, combined with like a parry. No, there we go. The elevator. So this level is good, but it's brutal on the harder modes. Fuck it. I hate that attack. You know what? No. I don't like that I always get killed by this fucking knob. I'm gonna stealth it. Just this one guy, though, because every time you dodge that, like, hammer attack from that guy... Oh. <gasps> 
locked on. I love that you can just go for nothing but the ankles and it still works. <sighs> right in the Grobular. It is, right in the Grobular region. Uh, 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 uh. Full health. Do it, hand sanitizer. Take his ankles. Oh, the cows are in. Warfare's been commodified or some shit. Ankles. Ooh. That was crispy. But now you're fighting in enclosed space. Your greatest strength has been diminished. Can't dodge that fucker. I think it just shows off like the power of like some of these um, unlockable swords. Um, yeah, stealth is riding specialty. This is a world where every enemy has stealth camo by default and um, X-ray vision. You can stealth quite a few sections. I've done it a couple of times so far in the run. Well, this is like a um, high-speed character action game. You want it to go fast? That's the one. Like everyone, start incorporating Grob into your day-to-day -day vernacular. And then if anyone asks where it comes from, just say, do you not know about Grob? And maybe we can get like a new um, uh, slang to trend. Let's get it going on, like, new slang just dropped, Grobula. Oh, I've got two. Good riding up the two for one special. The old two for one Grob Rob. Ugh. Oh no, then I came out, like, that's the thing. Unavoidable that damage was. Literally unavoidable, because I came out of that like, See, and this is why like this attack's broken as fuck. That's right. Just gimme that. Right, right in the fucking grob. The old grobular region. Uh, uh. Oh no, the kitty cats. Bad kitty. I know like Blade Wolf says they're dogs, but I read, like, Blade Wolf's design is very clearly wolf-like. I read the design, like, the LQIs. Like, correct, like, correct if I'm wrong, these look more like hyenas. Or, like, cheetahs. Sorry. Like, these have, like, a more lithe, like, agile cat-like appearance to them, where Blade Wolf's is more angular and wolfy. Like, he has the ears, but these things look like cats to me. Right? Like, he is a wolf, these are like a cheetah. Bad kitty. And grob is a fun word, so that's why we said it all the time. It's so versatile as well. Like just like just imagine it just sat there and you're like, oh it's like what's up? Oh I've got a right pain in the fucking grob here, mate. Like, what? You not heard about the grob? Oh, got it. Oh, look at this look. Look at like the ride and grob rob. No, it definitely can. I will. I love that you can kill these. Look, you can kill them during the cutscene. So during the cutscene, that thing's supposed to be running off. Yeah, I did it. So that is a bit of speed run tech that. I did watch a speed run of this game just to see if there's anywhere that I can, like, you know, just skip an annoying section or get to a next cut. And that's one of them. Like, you stand there doing that attack, kill those guys during the cutscene, and then during the moment where it's saying, oh, the elevator's not here, or these guys are attacking it, just run over and jump on it. So, there's going to be a guy drop from the ceiling. Do it. Okay, I'm going to try and do the anime slash, but whatever. I hate, I hate flying enemies so fucking much. 
I hate them. I'm going to reset, actually, no, because the checkpoint might be the entire elevator, but look at how much they make this fight annoying. Of just hitting you from the back with rockets that you can't see. Finally. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no, they're going for my grob. I think when you do that as well, in a theoretical sequel, like you should be like kicking the shit out of everything. Like you should be baseball biting enemies aside with that attack. Like there's a little bit of collateral damage on a couple of like the special grabs, but there should be a lot more. Like the whole thing with like the finals and that, so we're grabbing Excelsius's limb. There should be more of that. Like I should grab this enemy and like hit another enemy with it. Like hit a motherfucker with another motherfucker. Yeah, the grob rob. Like, that's what I mean, get it trending. Hashtag pain in the grob. Right, hashtag itchy grob. Uh, so we've actually made really good time for the um, uh, the game, especially considering we're playing on very hard mode. Are we going to fight Sundowner properly, or are we going to cheese him? Uh, we have until I beat. Spoilers, uh, the AI versions of uh, Mistral and Monsoon. So, one for cheese, two for fighting properly. Well. I like to think there, he's just typing in MGS. Just MGS. Let's go. Boop, boop, boop. No, it seems like people want us to cheese. In which case, sorry, Mistral. We fought you once, girl. Fuck off these things. They're so annoying. Like, for the Mistral second fight, she shouldn't have access to them. I hate them. I hate them so fucking much. Like, during Mistral's fight, sure, during the second part, her AI body should not have access to that attack. Like, the whole point of her, like, character is that she has, like, control over them. Her AI does not have that level of control. Because it's the AI! Damn it. Now we wait for Monsoon. Come on. I think we've all been here waiting for a bus. Worth it. That's correct. AI controlled, not a threat. So charge him up, let him get to his second phase, hit him with this attack, which is broken OP. Charge the scissors up again. And this is what a, a speed run would look like. It would just be like stuff like this, but for every fight. So I do endeavour to show off like a bunch of stuff in every fight. And I do consider like the cheese against Sundown to be part of showing off his fight, because it is very funny that he is hard countered by his own like um, unique weapon. So they should kill as soon as he stands up. And he's gonna stand up into the scissors. Oh no, okay. We got he got lucky. He activated his um his weird AI thing just in time. So he survives like one extra phase. But as soon as he stands up he's dead, so done. And that's why Sundowner's weapon is broken OP. Because you can just do that, and you can do that to every enemy in the game. Like, the super armor on this attack here. 
Actually, it's hyper armor. So it's like completely invincible. You can't break it at all. Is uh, there's not very much in the game. Even Armstrong falls prey to it in the I think the first phase. Let's play. So people miss the story. I keep getting asked about story. It's um every single one of the dots you see here is a child's brain that they stole, not stole, kidnapped, literally kidnapped. Like this went. Uh, took it out of the brain or the head of a uh, street urchin, orphan, or otherwise forgotten child um, who'd been uh, forgotten by society. And what they're doing is running childsoldier.exe directly into their like inner cortex. And as Sundowner says here, they give them a massive jolt of endorphins when they kill a virtual prisoner of war. Or civilian effectively turning them into tiny child soldier terrorists who are completely at the whim of whoever happens to hold the controller which in this case is everyone I've been fighting in the game which is why there is no moral ambiguity in this game so when I talk about that thing of like ride and killing the police in this game and there's no moral ambiguity about you being in the right even though Raiden is, yes, he's working for a PMC and he goes rogue, the way the story is framed, the reason he goes rogue is so cartoonishly heroic, there is no way to argue that he is not 100% in the moral right. And that everything that stands in his way and every person he kills in his quest is morally justifiable. So every person who stands in his way is like what's the word I'm thinking of now uh, not theoretically is metaphorically standing for just taking the brains of orphan children and subjecting them to like endless digital torture ah yes I knew there was a healing item here so before I pick that up heal so we're ready to cheese sundowner Actually, you know, let's take let's take a, a bet right now. Uh, I'm going to go start the fight. So we've got 20. So we're at two hours 42 minutes. I'm going to let 30 seconds of his fight play. Oh, his cutscene play, and then when hit start. So I'm going to see if I can beat him in 30 seconds. Dice. Three hours. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Make it. So I'm going to pause, and then as soon as it hits now. So this is going to be a 30 second fight. So if I can do it before. Who's that, Jack? Let's see if I can do this. And then. And then, and then, one last hit, one last hit. Done. Ah, okay, so that took 31 seconds, according to my timer. So if I'd have had Ripper mode, that would have been a, like, a few seconds quicker. But yeah, you can beat him in 30 seconds using his own weapon. And what makes it really funny is that happens while the character is screaming, Ah, fucking invincible! It's like, you're really not. And there's actually more risk of me dying during this next section. Than there was against the, um, the Sundowner fight. Because his weapon gives you hyper armor. Um, which gives you, like, a massive amount of damage resistance during the time you are swinging the uh, pincer blades. So there's more chance of me dying during this section, because on... With each pass, with each increased difficulty, they increase the amount of time you're going to do it and the amount of damage you take from this random debris, which is random. There's not really a way to avoid it. It's just you have to just... You can see on your screen there's all these explosions in the distance. It's quite difficult to see what's coming up. You just have to guess. And it, like, it's partly avoidable. Like just If you generally stick to the middle and just weave left and right as you see something in your peripheral and mash the shoot button to shoot missiles, you'll generally be alright. Yeah, so I 
Took about 40 damage off Sundowner and killed him in 30 seconds. Bye. And just for the insult, you know what? Let's go for the Grob. There it is. Let's just annihilate his Grob. Just absolutely annihilate the Grob. Ah! Cut his Grob into three, like 123 parts. It is over. Man can't fight without a Grob. Let's have a look. Let's have a look how much of his Grob is left. Oh my god, there's nothing. There's no Grob. <laughs> there's nothing! So what can happen during this moment is there is a small chance that Sundowner's body, when it lands, if you cut it into a weird enough, like, pointy angle, when his body hits the floor, it will bounce off the edge that you can see of the building. And sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't. But when you do, it's fucking hilarious. And I never, I've not managed to get on a stream yet, but I've had it once when I was playing casually. And just, the, his torso just goes, boop, and falls off, and it's so good. It's so fucking funny when it happens. Right in here. So you're all ready. So after this, this is just pure boss fights. It's uh, the Jetstream Sam fight. So whatever it is, then the Armstrong fight. On American soil. It's happening on American soil. There. Skip, 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 skip. Hello, female character with giant titties. You are clearly from a Japanese game. What's that about? What the Japanese got about like, giant titties? Like, I get it, but why is every character got the big old titties? Why? Like so many character designs are ruined by it's like, okay, the game like you know cleave is one thing, but I like, you know that cartoonishly large like giant water balloon thing they give to a bunch of characters i don't get that let's go for we'll go for default raiden i like being default raiden he is default raiden well, i guess like armstrong is like the male equivalent of that actually no it's nox uh, there's a hell if, if, if i can find it this next section while we watch this crap cut scene People are like, like, one of those weird things you'll see from like creepy, like weird men is like, oh yeah, like all this female stuff, like, oh, giant tits and stuff like that. It's like unrealistic body standards for women. Then they show like a big, huge buff man. It's like, look at the ones for men, that women. It's like, no, they're not. By and large, according to like virtually every study and like questionnaire ever done on women. They don't like the Armstrong body type. They like the original Raiden body type, which is in shape, but toned. Toned, androgynous, you know, nicely styled hair. They don't want, like, the huge, big, buff Arnold Schwarzenegger body type. For the most part, some women like that, but for the majority, don't. And I would argue that, like, you know, the original Raiden body type, that's very achievable for a lot of men. It's just eat right, do a few crunches, and... Wash your face and style your hair. Whereas the one for women is like, it's literally unattainable. And I can't find it. It was an amazing bit of fan art someone did of like the male version of Power Girl. And Power Girl very infamously has the big boob window here. And it's like the male version of that. And it's just this fan art of like a male guy, a guy that's wearing the Power Girl outfit. But it just has a circle where the penis is. And you can just see the very like top of the dong. Just, just the bit, just the, like, you know, the, the hint of a shaft. Because that's the male equivalent of cleavage, apparently. And here's just, like, a cutscene where, like, Raiden fights a stealth bomber. Nightwing from DC Comics, yeah. Like, he is, like, unreally, reasonably buff. But one of the things I think they single out in the comics is that he has a, a really round and sculpted ass that every female character in DC likes. And that mirrors something I've learned during my own research. Because as a non-creepy weird guy who has healthy relationships with women, I've been able to ask them the kind of thing that they like in a man. And one of the things that they've said is um, they like a man with a nice ass, nice triceps, and, you know, a nice back. Which uh, made me realise that women, just like men, do that thing that we all do, we don't like to admit, which is when you see someone attractive walk past, you look at them as they walk past so you don't get caught staring. Because with guys, it's only they stare at girls' ass. Um, uh, girls do the same thing. Well, at least according to my research. 
Uh, but so we do, we skip that mission right there. Uh, because it's just, you run back through the level we've just done, there's no boss fight. The boss fight is Sam. So we're going to go to the Sam boss fight now. But I will go grab myself one last drink for the Sam bit, and then we'll finally top up all our drinks when we get to the Armstrong fight. So these drinks are going to last me to the Armstrong fight. So if you give me a sec, folks, and I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, uh, I guess, can I pause? I can't really, can I? I can't. I can actually, oh wait, I can turn off the Elgato. So that way you can't see like my um, screen. But I'll play some music for you guys while I go. So there you go. I'll play you some music while I go, and I'll go for a bathroom break, and grab myself like some drinks to fight Sam. So you're ready. Let's fight Jetstream Sam, shall we? <sighs> and what an amazing intro to his cutscene, look. Just that album cover material right there. Ooh, who's messaging me? Next Thursday, I'll pencil that in. Sick. Oh yeah, post for a pitch for the missus. Let's see that I'm playing like video games and getting drunk. Every That's right. I'm a catch. Oh, that cutscene! Jack. No. Bye. <laughs> no, no. I love that you can run away from Sam. Let's go. Ting, ting. No, we're not having that. We're not having that. I found the Power Girl image. Uh, post it in the Discord. Post it in the Discord, the art section, and then I'll link the Discord here if anyone wants to go see it. If you manage to find it. It's so funny. Ting, ting. See if we can beat Sam with no damage. It's very difficult because he always managed to get like, that one cheeky hit in. He's got his very fast kick attack. He's got his awesome like back kick that like, like, hits every time. Broken. Oh, he got me. Try to show off. The tumbleweed. Tumbleweed. No, 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 no. Damn it. I've always been curious. Can you, like, Zandatsu the tumbleweed? You cannot. I'm very upset about that fact. Right, let's go. I love his little poses. I do wish you could, like, enter a battle stance, though, for this section to show him, but... I guess Raiden's battle stance is a lot more confident than Sam's. So the fact that Raiden's battle stance is just to stand completely upright and stare him the fuck down is kind of incredible. And this is like game design 101. If you make a character who's like supposedly your equal, you do this. And this might be like Sam's AI has glitched. It has not. This is by design that Sam will not move until you move. That is a good boss fight. 
Nah, let's go. I'll let him have that first hit because that was clean. Like, he caught me off guard. Oh shit, I've still got the, um, uh, I realise I've still got all this equipped, so I'm not having that. I'll tell you what I can do. I can... So I would like to fight Sam legit, quote unquote, so I'm going to do that. Get the title with that loadout, and then reboot with the match so I don't accidentally have the uh, pincer blades equipped. Because Sam's quite good at avoiding the, um, the pincer blades, but still. Yes, it's amazing, and that's the thing of, um, I, f I forget what it was, it was, I think it was on like Tumblr it originated, where it's like, it was that same argument of like a man posting like the He-Man action figure, like, ooh, this is the unrealistic body type that men have to deal with, it's like, no, that's not what women like for the most part, according to every study ever conducted, this is what the, like, the, fe the male equivalent of the Power Girl outfit would be, it wouldn't be Superman with his big, broad, five foot wide chest, oh, for fuck's sake, he's not gonna let me unequip. The pincer blade is it, so I guess I'll do it at the start of each encounter. It would be, you know, a pretty in shape dude, and his dong would be halfway out. That's what the equivalent would be. Ooh, Sam! Legend! Ugh. Do it. Dun, dun. Ooh, in the back. Fucking coward. Nah, I'm kidding. We go, Sam. I like a slash at his face, and he just takes it like a man. Just have the best fucking pose of just the. Eh. Like, what the f- Like, the confidence! Like, the fuck you got! And would people like to see that Sam has a special, unique move nobody else has? Like, he's one of the few characters in the game to have a specific counter to one very special move Raiden has. Would anyone like to see it? While we're just, like, blocking this, like, super cool attack. Yes. Okay, so Sam does not like when Raiden uses the drop kick. BAM! Oh, a waste of money. I've not heard that one in a while. That's an insult. So Sam has like a lot of unique insults and quotes, as do nearly every boss in the game. That's one that I've not heard in a while. That means you're playing very poorly, and I don't like that. So there are quotes if you're playing well, there are quotes if you're playing poorly. And you're a waste of money is one of the bad ones. Which means that I've not done well. I've not impressed Sam. Unfortunately. And to impress him, you basically just don't get hit. Don't get hit and then, like, do stuff that, like, frustrates him. Ooh, nice one, Sam. No. Not in that. Canonically, I want the fight to go well. No, I don't want to use his sword. I want the high frequency blade. I want the pincer blades off. Like, you know what? I think Sam would respect just complete and utter violence from second one. Sam feels like the kind of guy who likes it when you just, like, 0 to 60 in one quarter of a second. Just pure violence. Just never stop attacking. Just. Pure aggression from Raiden. Do it. Oh, that was nice. He got one clean hit. See, the attacks are so fast. They get through your guard just every now and again. Oh! Oh, the cancel! Like Sam with the fucking cancels. Right, let's go. Show me a good time. I fucking will. Pathet really? Okay. Oh, the kick! The kick of a god. The godlike kick of Sam. Sam Rodriguez with a fucking legend kick. 
I'm gonna stand next to his sword. Ugh! Look at that, his sword is through his own leg. So I like the idea that the sword's in front of us, look for this bit. Oh no! Oh, I was hoping he walked forward and pick it up and it looked super fucking cool. Oh yeah. The no hit Sam. The no hit Sam's actually one of the easy it's not in, like easy, but one of the easier achievements to get. Um, on Revengeance, because the parry is so strong. Like the parry basically three hits him. On Revengeance, because they up the damage that the parry does by like 500%. So it effectively one hits every base enemy. And um, like two to three hits every boss. And Sam has a lot of really easy windows to abuse in his combos. I'll see if I can like get him to do it. He has like a specific combo that's really easy to get a parry at the end of. And that almost always guarantees like a 50% reduction in his life. See if we can get him to do it. Uh, I'm on guard, come on, do the slash. So he usually only does it in his first phase, but you skip the rest of his phases if you do. Here it is. That second slash there, that parry on Revengeance mode does like 50%. So if you can get him to do that combo twice, you just kill him instantly. Now, you won't get an S rank for it, you do it too quickly, but you will get the no hit. That's what you're going for. It's awkward timing. Once you get the timing, the parry at the end is virtually guaranteed. And you can, like, spam um, block to get it, for the most part. Ugh. <laughs> I love that. Okay, Sam's having fun. That's good. I love that Sam's having fun. Because what's about to happen to him is not going to be fun. But he's not about to have a lot of fun when I uh, finish this fight. Come on. Do it the cool way. Done. Ugh! It does. Give me a few, like, few grob slashers. There we go. That's for you folks at home, the grob slashers. Ugh! Uh, no, all the bosses have dialogue based on how well or poor you're fighting. They also have a lot of um, like random chatter, which is one of the reasons I like this game. Like, they very clearly and explicitly anticipated people to replay the game multiple times. Hence why they give you multiple different dialogue options but uh yeah every boss fight has dialogue if you're playing poorly if you're playing well like with um blade wolf when you're playing really well against blade wolf like i did earlier because I, I just annihilated his like first phase he talks about oh is this all the human mind component violence because like you're so aggressive whereas if you play poorly is like why are you not fighting with your full potential and they'll say things of that nature like he'll ask like are you even trying have you not like he'll start asking questions about your skill Whereas if you play really well, he'll start like comp like talking about the fact that you're being really aggressive and it's like, is violence all you know? Is this all the human mind can do? Are you that solely driven for violence? Whereas I think Monsoon, if you play really well, he appreciates and he actually gets hype for how violent you are. But when you beat him, he gets scared. Like he starts to get scared towards the end. And Mistral, um, in keeping with her character, like the like you know the step on me, mommy, um, uh, extraordinaire. Um, if you get your ass kicked, he's like, do you like this sort of thing? Whereas if you're beating her, he's like, ooh, that sort of thing. And then Sam is just, fuck you. And then Armstrong, the better you play, the more hype he gets. Because he enjoys the idea of like, oh, a worthy opponent. Whereas if you get your ass kicked, he's like, what are you doing? Which is why I consider, or I generally try to get, for the canon ending, I want Armstrong to say, this is the fight of my life. Because if he doesn't say that, I don't consider it to be canon. Uh, go for blue. I'll be blue for a little bit.
So I really, I always want like Armstrong, like you know, I want his final moments to be. That was the fight of my life. Skip. Skip. Oh yes, crack up my beer. Because I imagine this next section, there's only really two combat encounters before we get to Armstrong. But boy, are they two difficult combat encounters. Like, not the most difficult ones in the game, but when you're playing, like, a marathon session like this, of, I'm like, you know, three or four beers deep, it's a bit tough. Which is why I'm equipping the body that gives me more defense. I do think as well as, like, a healing item, like, somewhere in this desert, but I'll get that later. Fuck it. So we, we can't give this enemies any chance. We have to just, like, annihilate them. Run. Run. I've been hit. I've been hit. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, I got hit. Almost impossible to do without getting damaged because the slider with the machine gun will hit you, which I tried to dodge. There it is. I think this is like the last healing item in the game. There's like another one more in the... Uh, Oh, God damn it. In the hangar. So we're in Pakistan now. You can't tell because it's just nondescript quarry. It's like we're in an episode of Power Rangers. Just nondescript quarry where the enemy is. And I hate this next section. Not because of the enemies, the sliders. The sliders are incredibly frustrating. So they are the first thing I go for. So I literally just go straight for the sliders. Because they can end... They can make or break this run. If they, they land one clean missile strike on me, I'm fucked. That is that um, OP, what they can do. That one missile will knock me down, and then I'll get hit by a hammer. And then I'll get hit by one of these like cool guys with a samurai sword, and I lure these two guys over here, so the, uh, the security cameras can't get me, because the security cameras can also do mad damage in this section. And they give that guy, like, the most, the most amount of fuck you. Generic quarry. Yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of shows that do that, you know. They're cheap to film it. It's like Vasquez Rocks. It's like, you know, the Star Trek rocks, because they were used so often in Star Trek. But there's these generic, cool-looking rocks outside LA, where there's a shit ton of... Uh, all sci-fi shows recorded. Perfect. That was good. That was about as clean as that was going to go. I'll destroy these just in case. I don't like them. I don't have to do this, but I really don't like that they can some. If you like the fight somehow ends up outside, I don't want them hitting me. There was a. F I have like oh, that guy. It's possible to stealth this section. I've not done it many times. Like usually doing casual runs, I can pull it off. Uh, but at the very least, I want to try and take out a couple of them with stealth. Because this next combat encounter could be a killer if they uh, can trap you in a corner. If you get corner trapped by these guys, you are not going to have a good time. Ooh! That was good. Shit! Okay, it's about as good as it's going to be. No! Don't stun lock me, don't stun lock me. It's going to happen. I can feel it. I can feel the stun lock happening. Yep! They've nearly taken off one health bar with three hits. Get the fuck out of here. So the problem is the hammer guys, if they get in the the combat loop with the sword guys, they will randomly throw in the unblockable attack. Which you can't block while these guys are doing this like parry chain thing here. Like that I've already lost like three health things. Instantly. Like they instantly put 
three of my health bars off because it is a brutal fucking combination of enemies to fight. And I already knew I was going to lose that one because just there's no chance. It's like they're purpose like built to fuck you up. Fuck's sake, okay. Because if the hammer guys hit you with the sledgehammer, you're stuck. They put you in so much hit stun. Then the sword guys come in with like the uh, the really swift kick, which stuns you, which lets the hammer guys hit you again, which knocks you down, which lets the guys with the sword. It's like... Okay, I might be able to get this guy. Come on. That one. Okay. Take this one out. Look at you running away. Okay, so it flew away. Is there another slider? Yes, there is. Okay, take out the slider. Do not give it a chance. You can just see, like, from this combat, like, just, just two of these things together is a brutal combo. And they put, like, four of the sword guys and three of the hammer guys. And it's awful. It is an awful combo. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Done. Now, I do find it weird that when you reset this section, that you fight those guys again. This make, it makes it one of the harder rooms in the game because you have to do what feel like two entirely separate combat encounters back to back and both of them are really tough you can definitely take this, this guy out shit okay so i fucked that up we fucked it up so bloodlust is coming out as is the sunblade we can't take any chances we, there's rocket launch and as well the two guys with swords have rocket launchers which also cause stun Which is like, you know, just real fun. And they'll run in and do this. Yeah, that's okay. So two health bars have gone already. Brutal. Right, full health, full health, full health, full health, full health. We can, we can live with three. Three is fine. If, get, if they take another one off me, I'll have to reset. And I don't get how that guy can block with no arms, but whatever. Like, three is livable. I, I just... When they give these guys the fucking rocket launchers, why? It's so unfair. Like, the swords are annoying enough, and then the rocket launch that can hit you from across the screen. Like, if I ran all the way to the other side of the map, those rocket launchers would hit me. Nice, right, so it seems that we've got it. Yeah. We appear to have got this, that's not bad. So, well. No. High frequency blade and take off the pincer blades. And I believe there is one electrolyte pack in here. So we will have four electrolyte packs for fighting Armstrong, which is pretty much. That's just for safety, because Armstrong is a big boy. He can hit hard. But Armstrong hits hard. There's a lot of meat on them bones. And these are the last three enemies in the game, and it feels really weird that... I figured there'd be like a... The boss rush, I feel, should have been here, but I get why it's not. A, they didn't have time, and the Armstrong fight itself is so strong. But for like this to be the literal last combat encounter in the entire game, feels weird to me. Oh god, they got one off me. They got a hit. Yep, 
Yeah, you see here as well, the, these things that fire these bullets on Revengeance are nightmarish. Because that thing can hit you and strip off a health bar in about 30 seconds. Not 30 seconds, 3 seconds, sorry. So they did take one of these life bars off me, not really much you can do about that unfortunately. So I want to reset the entire combat encounter again. Because I would have to go back to the very start of the level. I, oh God, I hate it! Fuck you! It's the first time I've seen one of those things miss. It was worth it. It was worth setting that guy out. Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? Are we, done? Are we fucking done. Whew. What's this? Please be a healing item. Yes. Okay. We've got four. Okay, so four life bars versus Armstrong's two. We can do this. And we've got full health. And as always, we always watch all of Armstrong's cutscenes. So, if you've got yourself a drink, pour, like, you know, finish pouring your drink and just get ready to watch some of the most cheesy ass but entertaining as balls cutscenes. The 2010s have to offer. So cheers, everybody. If you've been here since the beginning, you are a big dick legend. And I invite you to come to the live event on the 28th of August. Tell me that you like the Armstrong fight. And, uh... Actually, I'm not going to promise buying anyone drinks. I, enough people watch these streams where I could be on the hook to buy a lot of drinks. So. I'll tell you what, I'll bring, like, um, uh stickers or something. Just tell them, like, if you whisper in my ear, say, hey, I love that Armstrong fight. Maybe you'll get a sticker. Or a shirt. Tequila time, yes. I've got this tequila here. I actually have some shot glasses in the freezer in case we can get the 69 parts on Excelsius. Oh, yeah. My friends just watch Love and Thunder. There we go. And I'm going to do a pub quiz next week. Here he comes. What an introduction. It's fucking legend. Legend. Just you know he's wearing like a fucking Alex Jones nine grand watch. Toy you've got. got. Like, I like that impressive little toy. It's the size of a city block. <laughs> Idiot. Oh. You're not hey, you and Luke, Luke's got something in common. You just got back from seeing Love and Thunder. The internet lately. Oh no. Oh god no. <laughs> We still think like this game's so prescient in the sense that you've got like a not even a Trump analogue, just like a a proto Trump using the internet to whip people up into a frenzy to like start a proxy war with like an unnamed nation out of just sheer bigotry. Like Raiden. And then Raiden makes the biggest mistake ever. He scrolls to the comments. No, Ryder, don't. No, don't read the comments. I stopped watching Fact Fiend when they got political. Ugh. Fun fact: um, we actually got a really angry message when Nisha first appeared in the channel of, "Why did you make it so political?" Um, I don't watch your channel to deal with that sort of thing, and we literally didn't say anything. It's just that Nisha said some words. 
So in their head, having a woman appear in a video to them was an insult. And it's like, at that point, I'm not making content for that person. Because I wouldn't want to. If I made content for that kind of person, I'd never get fucking laid. Isms! Lism. Tootyism! Listen to this man. Made out with a bride. The thing is that I'd leave. Like, he's such a man. He's so macho. He's 200% man. Look at him. I will do an Armstrong cosplay. I'm back at the gym now. Like, I'm not up to what I was previously. I'm literally half as strong as I used to be, but I'll get there. And I'll do the Armstrong, like, um, uh, cosplay. Yeah! Man, woman, and child. You get them all the time. I uploaded um, one of my stream archives where I still had that thing at the bottom saying respect women's rights. And I got like a bunch of comments that have been filtered out. Because I have this nice thing on YouTube where if people post words like Trump or Biden or feminism. Uh, they get filtered out. So I've never seen anyone use those words on YouTube and not be a prick. So it just has the thing of just like, oh, respect women's rights or fuck off. Be like, what's the deal with that? Why are you putting that? You're playing Monson and what's the deal? It's like, cool. Just click hide user. Don't let them interact with my content. And they can still interact with it, but no one will see it. And that makes me happy. Lawless gangs. Mad men. Have to we include you. you. He's even got like the American pin. Wouldn't Made him extra beefy in the Sim Girl's car game. Look at him. I couldn't get enough. Like, that's the thing. Armstrong and Raiden, like original body Raiden, when he had like, you know, he was all androgynous and stuff. They are the two peak male body types, according to Weird Man. Oh, look at that Mad Cat's control. That's the shit my cousin maybe used to play Tekken 3. Look at that. So, can people hear the song? First and foremost, can people hear the song? People miss the arm, sh um, the monsoon song. Is the song loud? I'll wait a few seconds. Like, is the song nice and loud? You can hear it. Is it loud? You can hear this. Okay, I'll turn it up a tad. Do the roar. Yeah, Metal Gears. They're just monsters. Fuck you. They just roar like monsters now. Who gives a shit? Now let's see, as usual, I'm going to try and do the one-handed playthrough. I'm going to, at the very least, for the first phase of Ray, try and do the one-handed dodgers, because you only need two um, uh, buttons to attack during this moment, so I'm going to try and play one-handed for this section. As I drink my beer. Oh, I got hit. Damn it. Fuck that. We're not getting hit by Armstrong. We've got plenty of time. We're making good time today, so we can dick around a little bit. You should die, Jack. Oh, wait, what? For fuck's sake. Huh. I did use a bit of play one-handed. That's like, do it when I was um, uh, recording. Like, when I was recording, like, Dragon Ball, like, fighters combos, that's playing one-handed. I learn if I like Sakurai Tech. I also used to play like Tekken 4 and um, uh, Upside Down. Jack, you're against it. Like the weird like sexualization of just like the metaphysical concept of a country and its patriotism, like calling America a her. Like America Chan. Yeah, that's right, I'll fight like a man. I'll fight his robot spider. Dodge, 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 dodge. If you guys are my hands not on screen with the controller. Sorry. I hope though the beer being in one hand shows that I'm playing one handed. And it shows off as well how strong attack and defend is. That you're literally invincible to a thing going through your body. Fuck! Well. You little bitch! That's a bit mean, isn't it? 
He calls you a little bitch. But I guess that like does sum up Armstrong. Ooh, clean hit. Clean fucking hit. You know what? No. I think we can do a zero uh, damage. Run with this. Let's get the blood lost out. So you can only dodge during this section as well. Um, everything Excelsius does is like 1 or 2% damage. Just to show off how big and strong it is. You're against her! Right, man wants to fuck an American flag. No. How about I don't hold still and instead continue slapping you with your shit? How about that, Armstrong? Dun, 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 dun. No, you out. Like, Raiden is no bug. He is man. He is big, beefy robo man. Oh, the lyrics! Fuck you! Oh. Specifically attack the kneecaps of the robot. The flag light. That's like... That's low-key super good. America! Wait for the roar though. Wait for Armstrong's scream. You ready? Ah! And then we can get a final hit in. Ah, okay. Use that one. So this is the only time we probably. It's whether or not we take damage is not my fault. And it's because. What the geckos do is super fucking random. And you specifically don't lock in on them. Because understandably, even if you try to lock in on them, what Armstrong's doing is more important. So. And the geckos can like do to like randomly fire missiles that'll hit you off screen. So I think we've looked out and only got a two gecko phase. Oh shit, yeah, a triple gecko phase. Okay, so. And look out. Yes, okay, so Armstrong did a, like, you know, an American classic. Shot his own soldiers. Which already lost a leg and taken 56% damage and has landed exactly zero hits on one guy. Right, if anything, you should invest in doing whatever the fuck they did to me or you. Damn it! Oh, the one hit! Tied it wrong. Like, realistically, all the money they spent on this Metal Gear Excelsius, they should put into making another Armstrong or another Raiden. Because clearly, the money was fucking worth it. Like, imagine a Raiden who had, like, the same programming as, like, one of those random soldiers who doesn't, like, understand what they're doing. And could just be programmed to do your bidding. Although I do like to think a little bit that Raiden is able to, like, break his programming sort of thing. Like, this is 100% like headcanon for me, but in my head, Raiden is able to, like, go beyond his limits as a robot because he's so fucking pissed that America is, like, getting his shit pushed in. So I did take one hit. I'm sorry. This won't be an S-rank and uh, Excelsius fight. Oh, yeah, there's the snake quote. That's the snake quote. Don't get cocky, kids. So, I'm going to go grab my shot glasses. Because if we can get 69 parts, I'm getting some tequila. So, everyone else, get get your drinks ready. Or some water. Oh, just do a high five to yourself. Why not? YOLO.
can I just say, I love that the lyrics play throughout this section. So I've got some ice cold tea, like no, red ribbon army and capsule corp shot glasses. Ready. So I'm feeling confident we can get the 69 parts. Well, you know what? I'm already famous. We've got like some robot being like, you want to get big famous. You know what? I'm already a level of famous I'm happy with. This is about a level of success I'm able to deal with. Any more than this, I think as we dealt with when the channel was in its heyday, of I was getting like DMs and messages and requests for like, oh, hang out with me, join me on my stream every day. It was too much. This is a level of success that I'm happy with because I can deal with it. Ugh. Let's go. Uh. Fuck you. Ugh. Shoulder that weight, Raiden. Swing like a fucking boss. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck you. <laughs> The final Zandatsu. One. Two. That's the bit where Armstrong is right there. But let's make sure. I think if you hit Armstrong in this section, you get a little bit of extra damage on him. Not much, but a little bit. So 31 here. Like one slash up here. Now I'm going to go for it, folks. The final one. Oh no, he didn't go up! Damn it! Sometimes it goes up! Ugh! Fuck, you know what we're doing anyway. So I would like a nice cold tequila. That'd be nice. So this is really nice. This is really fucking expensive tequila and it's super good. It's so tasty. Oh, oh so good! I'm tempted to put like a shot of this in my death right. Oh, the sumo star! Oh, camera to you. Oh, you've gotta be Fucking ki That's where there should be an F word. There should be an F word in that sentence. <laughs> Just me when I realise it's like... Uh, is Pepsi okay? It's like, no! I'm like the robot screams if it's fucking dying, it's great. <laughs> Me after doing one push up. What a man. Let's go. go. The hell are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb, I love it. College ball, you know. That's the thing as well. What he says, I played college ball. He does the 40 yard dash. Because I wasn't like aware of that. I saw a breakdown of it. That like, oh, the reason he says that is because the 40 yard dash in football is a thing. Like, they don't do 100 meters, like 40 yards. How quick can you do that? And Armstrong does that from a crouching position, 40 yard dash to shoulder check rider. That's what you do in a football match. And that's like, what a detail to put in. To explain why Armstrong is able to sprint that fast, that far. And then... Boom. Is it good? It's good. What the hell are you? I'm a fucking senator. <laughs> Why don't you stick around and find out? I like that mantum. Like, the thing is though, look at that fucking swagger. You see a man walk at you looking like that. You believe me when it says I'm man to man, I can't be beat. Let's go. Ooh, the backhand. The backhand of God. Let's try it. Let's see if the scissors can beat him. Can we, like, cheese Armstrong with the scissors of destiny? Like, Armstrong's like, scissor my timbers. Oh, no. Nice, nice. Ooh. Alright, that's the thing. And then we go. BAM! Oh! Like me after eating my girl out. Whoo! Oh! 
Fuck you! Mm. I love the edit someone did like that Sephiroth reveal in Smash Bros. Where he just grabs it and goes. And here we go. The most on the nose cutscene in any video game. A literal and metaphorical debate complete with verbal and physical parries. How can the stream not get more sexual? Look at the amount of like sexual energy on screen. You have got androgynous by icon Raiden fighting the ultra example of masculinity. Yeah, got Charlie in. Yes. Looking forward to seeing you, man. You're gonna see me on a Friday, so we could potentially, if you're up for it, when you come over. We could stream Revengeance, get pissed, and then go out. I could stream it early with me and you. We could stream it, get pissed, and then go for a few drinks afterwards. Like, we could stream it like, five in the evening or something, with a few beers. You know what? Yeah, that's a good idea. Charlie, you can play, and I can get hype. I can be a hype man. So, in two weeks' time, my friend Charlie, who's in chat right now, will be over. And... Not guarantee, but we may stream this game, get pissed, and then uh, go for a few drinks afterwards. In the hands of the people! You know what I mean? Like Raiden by Icon. It's in the like early game, like there's a legitimately a character who's like, "Are you a girl?" It's like, "No." I just work out and have nice hair. Chicken shit bureaucrats! Bullshit! Oh no. Like, fuck the media. Fuck American Pride. Fuck the media! All of it! To the core. I just don't care. Raiden, I don't think you understand. I don't care. Fuck you! Oh god, that's the worst one. It's, it's a brutal beat. Keep in mind as well, Raiden never turned his pain inhibitors back on. So Raiden can feel all of this. And it's one of those things of the game doesn't really bring it up, but Raiden's robot body, and there's the line, which is not a Donald Trump quote, it's I think it's a Reagan quote that Donald Trump also nicks, but yeah, like, Raiden's cyborg body can sustain more damage than a human body. It's like a level of pain a human body would never expect to feel or be able to comprehend, he can. And what would that do to a mind? What would it do to a mind, like say, like, you know, getting hit by a car? That would kill you, so your brain would be shut off before you even had a chance to process that. But what about if your body was indestructible, but still had nerve endings? What would your brain do in that situation? The answer is, it would go fucking mental, like Raiden does in a second. You would go full Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Kaioken, 5 billion, Jack the Ripper, bollocks to it, Raiden. And then, there we go. Can you tell that Arnold Schwarzenegger was, um, uh, you know, in office when this guy was made? Because basically he's just, he's Arnold Schwarzenegger, if he was a Republican who didn't go to college. Because uh, fun fact about Arnold Schwarzenegger, he has a double degree in economics and like political theory. He's a really smart guy and he's a Republican in the classical sense. Which is why, like, he believes in a lot of, like, social causes. So, like, you know, women's rights and things like that. He's more like a Republican in the sense of, like, you know, small government and allowing people to make their own choices, which includes things like abortion and things of that nature. Because he's, like, you know, a foreigner who was educated in the political theory by, you know, its you know, truest, most academic sense. And that's what he aligned with. And then what... Republicans became like actively discuss him, which results in like those amazing like streams and 
like videos he's made where he's just like tearing down Donald Trump for being like, you're a fucking coward. How dare you stand there as people wave Nazi flags at your rallies, you fucking monster. And then, BAM! Yeah, that's me. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a he's a classical Republican. That's what he describes himself as. And then, just me looking for my underwear after I've hit it. Huh? All the lawnmowers here can't fret over every egg. So I guess if I made like a rip an Armstrong cocktail, I'd have to have like egg whites in it. And I'll, I'll probably have to like time it so I can make the egg whites as I was doing this. So I'd have to like practice my bar or um, uh, skills once again. But you did survive! You did survive! Look at that, the point! The wrestling point! The cane! Take yours! Now imagine if like Ryan was wearing like mariachi uniform this. But yeah, cheers Charlie, I know you weren't in the chat for long, but yeah, if we can do that, we can figure something out. Like, he's a friend of mine I've like known for a good old long while, but I've not had a chance to like, hang out with him, just me and him. And I know that he really loves this game, and he's like really excited. Like, every time I play this game, he's like, are you playing that again? I'm like, fuck yeah, he's, like, good. So I don't think he's played it all the way through, he knows it from the memes. So maybe it'd be like an all day thing, so I probably wouldn't get as pissed as I do during these regular streams. Because he'd want to see the entire story, but maybe like, you know, a few light beers. Start at like 5 o'clock, be finished by 10. It's like, you can finish this game in like 5 hours if you like watch all the cutscenes. And like, I'm just standing on Armstrong because there's nothing you can do. I've got 4 healing items, I know that all I've got to do is wait a minute. There's nothing Armstrong can do, because riding's like so fucking stylish. It's like, how do you hit a man who's like this fucking cool? Like, look at that. Like, if you're in the club and a guy starts doing this, just like, give him your girlfriend's phone number and say, just, mate, have fun. Like, I don't even care if you wrap up or not, just like, hit him raw for all I care. Like, it's gonna feel better after I go in after you, mate. Come on. Let's look at it. Just like, he, he like, he owns the room. You hit him, but he stands up once. He's still dancing. Like, he's still dancing. Unstoppable. And it is worth pointing out, like, canonically, Raiden has a giant penis. Not anymore, because obviously he's got a robot body, but it is canon that Raiden has a big old giant penis. Um, in Metal Gear Solid 2, when uh, he is naked, if you go back, if you cause an alert and then go back to the section where Raiden can put himself back into his restraints, where his genitalia is tastefully covered by a, a straw, a soldier will walk in and say, wistfully, I wish I had that. Indicating that either that soldier wants to have Raiden's giant old dong, or that Raiden will use it on them. Either way, it suggests pretty explicitly that Raiden has a big old honking dong. And that's why he's mad. Like, imagine how mad you'd be if you had a big old honking dong that other men were like, I wish I had that. And they cut it off and made you a robot. Of course you'd be pissed. And of course you want to do backflip all the time. And like, you know. Uh, uh. Ooh, he hit me! So, you know, speaking of like, you know, these streams getting oddly sexual as time goes on. Um, uh, do we like it fast or do we like it slow? Um, one for fast, two for slow. Because this is the meme moment. So this is the meme-ish moment, so if you've seen the memes, the song doesn't play during this, so one for fast, two for slow. Oh, I hope I got that right. One for fast, two for slow, one for fast, two for slow. So one for fast, two for slow. Give people a few seconds. Zero. So we've got one, two. So wait till we get consensus, we've got a few people in. So one, a like couple of fast ones. Wait for a couple more, so we get can, like looks like two. Oh god, like it'd be nice if people like vote. For, like, come on, one for fast, two for slow. How'd you like it, folks? Like jackhammer from start to finish, or you know, slow and tender. One for fast, two for slow. Ugh, okay, slow. The slows have it. So. 
Gents, um, uh, if you want some advice, here it is, I suppose. Like, you know, you know, you get, like, you know, that bit of uh, the electricity in the fist. Like, Ryan's got the rumbler attached to the rose, and then it's nice and slow. There you go. If you could set up a pole to do that, that'd be nice, but there you go. Just like, use your thumb. Not even any, like, any effort, just like, you know, nice and, nice and slow. Roll your thumb over the point. And I'll tell you what, gents, like we've all been there. I have had many a lady respond to what I thought my best moves by doing what Armstrong does now, which is, is that all you got? And the only response to that is, of course. <laughs> I fucking love doing this joke because it's so funny. Of just, then you got to do double fist. It's the only way. How else would you satisfy someone of this this caliber? That's the no, that thing. So many people don't realize you can just go slow, which is why I like to make that joke. Do you like it slow or do you like it fast? And as Luna says, it gets a bit more sexual as you go along. But how do you not get sexual when this? Look at that! Look at you, like weird. Look at that! That chest pussy, the chussy. Yeah, that's right. I, I watch TikTok. I know. I talked over the line. Fuck you. I do what I want. Like, how do you have a, a man who says, like, I harden in response to physical trauma and not think that's sexual? Fuck you! <laughs> what did I just say? Mm. Now it's time. It's time for some JoJo. Time to end this. this. I'll tell you what I'll do, because this tequila is nice, but my beer's running out. So I'm going to get myself a nice shot. The JD fire that I've got over in the corner. So that's what I'm going to do to beat Armstrong. Ugh. And I know for a fact my girlfriend would hate the line chussy, so I'm going to say it. See what Armstrong knows what it's about. You jackhammer from start to finish. Her enjoyment is entirely secondary. Which is actual advice I got from a friend of mine. A friend of mine who is six foot five and a quarter, and his girlfriend is like five foot one. And I asked him, like, you know, when you get drunk one evening, like, how does that work? And All just right. he just without thinking just said, Jack Hammer from start to finish. And it made me laugh so much, it has become a permanent part of uh, my mindscape. So, you know what? This is for Sam, this is for Sam Rodriguez. So we all ready for the worst pronunciation of Sam ever to like, be recorded ever. Blondie has me doubting the whole thing. We'll leave it up to fate then, shall we, Wolfie? A duel to the death. A duel to the death. Best man wins. My Spanish accent sucks ass. Sam. I cut him down, and that's that. Back to our regularly scheduled. My accent sucks ass. I'm the best part of this game, despite being the easiest boss fight to cheese. If I die here, the lock on my blade will just Why not give it to me straight hours. away? Why not give but me this blade that, right away? You, it makes no sense that I don't Even get it dead, right away. A pain in my ass. So like, get it instantly. You think that so Oh Charlie's still in. So can you confirm, Charlie, that our mutual very large friend well, does ahead, indeed then. say Jack Hammer from but start to finish no whenever mistake. like um, the subject of his uh, marital relations I'm comes up. With him. You're next. You're next. Designed to fear termination. termination. Yeah, confirmed. Huh? No. However, Directive Zero One is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and, and passed along. along. That means you fear termination, Which dickhead. You don't fear it, but you're scared. That's a good, good boy. boy. However, Raiden came to my Are you ready? Worst pronunciation of Sam ever. When Samuel fell. Samuel, what is that? Fuck you, Blake. Samuel fell. Poor one out for Samuel. Now, 
And there is like the most literal interpretation of that. You little fuck. I'm my own master now. I have decided my own parameters for victory. Like, if you didn't think this game could get more on the nose in regards to, like, themes, you literally have Blade Wolf say, I'm my own master now. And then we have the literal dog-kicking moment. I still think, though, in that moment, Armstrong should have, like, Izuna dropped Blade Wolf. Justice. But. Not used in anger. anger. But. Not used for vengeance. But. But, but now, I'm not, now so I'm sure. not so sure. I love how he has that like and weird like besides, edgeness to his voice. This isn't my sword. sword. Uh, uh, that's me jumping down three flights of stairs. Do we like see four stairs and you jump down at the bottom? You're like fuck yeah. So this is my last beer. So I like I've got I actually do have an emergency beer okay. before the most emergency of beer. So. We're going to try and go in raw on Armstrong. If he beats me, I will get my emergency beer. Ugh. Let's go. Fuck you, Armstrong. Ugh. This man. This man. This fucking man. Say it with your chest. The Broly Tech. No, I'm not. Mm. Say it with your fucking chest, Armstrong. Mm. Uh. Uh. Man! Run. No. Join me. Dragon Force that shit. Uh. Through the final flames. Herman Lee will be impressed. No. And I love that, like, Sam's sword just has, like, no knockback whatsoever. It's Sam's sword! It's too hype! Yeah! That's right. When my mum asked me to bring my shopping in. And I love that for this section, they, like, give you so much leeway on whether or not these things hit. Do it. Do the roar. Oh, and then like healing items rain from the fucking sky. So there's a guy earlier who asked, like, what do I do against Armstrong? If you get to this point, you get three or four like healing items fall from the sky. Oh no! Fuck you! Oh, oh no, my sword. But it's okay. Look at those fucking ribs. Come on! Come on! Four. You! You know what? Because we're being like conf overly confident today. For the first like chance against Armstrong, I always act super confident. Let's let him heal. So, first time against Armstrong, I always let him heal. Because, you know, it makes it more hype if I win. Oh, he's, oh, double heal. This is rare. It's not often he does this, but he's done this twice on the bounce. Last two streams, but I'll let him do it. It's what he wants to do. You ready? Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to go back up to nearly 200%. So I'm basically after beating twice. Let's see. Go. Mm. Do it. Do it, pussy. Ooh. What? I just want you dead. I just want you dead, Armstrong. Mm. The man. Can I do it first time? It's rare to beat Armstrong first time. It's like, it's so hype. No, 
Nope, do not pick that up. I'm gonna slide that healing item there, save it. It's like chicken in final fight. You leave it on the ground, it'll stay there to the end of the match. It's like, it's tempting to pick it up straight away. It will stay there. But it might like, scare you. It's like, I need to pick it up. So, no, it will stay there. Until like a cutscene plays. So, if Armstrong beats me during this next cutscene, give me a chance. Ugh. Can you imagine like Armstrong in like the center of like this is how I work? Just like making giant fucking explosions. Do it! Do it, pussy! Ugh. You ready though? The people's elbow has got nothing on the Raiden kick. Ugh. You lost the popular vote, dickhead. Do it, do the roar. Me. Mm. Armstrong's having a great time. This is a good Armstrong fight. So far, it's been a really solid Armstrong fight. Charlie, if you're still watching, I hope you get like an Armstrong fight like this. Because like Armstrong could do a number of things in his fight, but like right now he's been really kind in the sense that he's showing everything off. Like this is showing off everything the character can do, and that's super fun. He has so many unique things in this fight, like quotes and moves. Oh god! We all saw the full 360 and uh, Donkey Kong nut. Might makes right. It sure does Armstrong. I'm sure that'll never become an issue for anyone anywhere on Earth. Well, that full 360 like fucking grab was insane. Ooh. You know what? Heal up. Because I feel like he's going through his next phase in a sec. Ooh, that hit me. Arm shot was clean. Arm shot was clean. Arm strong. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Let's see if we can do this. Oh. Fuck you! Just top with like the metal door, I'm like, Boom. do it, do the roll. Here we fucking go. So, there's two healing items. Oh! No, I'm strong! No, it's not. Do you know why? Ugh, for America! Uh, uh, uh. Uh, what are those fucking ribs? No, rib which is back. That's how it's fucking done. That one hurt. And I love that you appreciate that one hurt. And I've still got two healing items left. And that's like another pro tip that guy was asking earlier. Like, the healing items will stay there the entirety of the match. They only change when um, Armstrong gets like a clean hit. So, just use them. Make sure you're on full health all the time. Oh shit, I was having that You know what? No. We made a deal. Armstrong. You know what? If you're going to heal, I'll heal. It's only fair. I wish I had a drink, so it'd be like more dramatic at this moment, but. Let's let him heal. Oh, you got Okay, double heal again. Whiskey, I guess. And it does go up less each time, people are wondering. Okay, let's go Armstrong. 
So I feel like as well beating him like this is like the most legit way to beat him. Oh man. Look at this fucking Dragon Force looking motherfucker. Oh god no, the nut. BAM! And yes, if you're wondering, you can like back dash into that, you can roll backwards into the flames. And it can kill you. I've lost runs to that. Ooh! Oh the backhand of a god. Oh no! There you go, well, you can recover into Armstrong's other attacks. He can stun lot you into his own attacks. It is super cool but also super, like, unfair feeling when Armstrong, like, stun locks you into his own shit. But I don't think, like, um, it's not me, like, making excuses, but I don't think, like, a 0% Armstrong run is canon. I like to think that the final fight between Armstrong and Ryan is like this, as these cutscenes show. Of, like, it is... A knockdown, drag out brawl that Raiden ultimately, you know, he emerged victorious in. Like, Raiden wouldn't just one shot, zero damage this fight. Because the entire game is, like, built this moment to show that Raiden does take damage doing all of these things. And that's not just me saying, like, oh, I'm getting hit, so it's making an excuse for it. In my head, Especially like given like all the cutscenes where you have like against Armstrong show you getting hit. But it's cannon for Raiden to get hit. Oh shit! Not like that though. Woo! Woo! Dodging through the iframes. Oh god, 360 Armstrong. The legendary, like, 360 Armstrong. So we might have him. This might be a one, like, um... Uh, it's a one, like, uh, life Armstrong. Shit! I'll take that one. Ugh. Do it. Do it. Fuck you! Uh. Come on! Come on, get me down to 30%. 30%. Yes! Fuck you! Imagine how satisfying that would be to do to a Republican senator in this climate. How satisfying would it be to, like, punch a Republican senator that fucking hard? I think this might be it. We might have beaten Armstrong in one turn. It's been a fucking... It's been brutal. But we did it. <sighs> so as I don't fuck this up. And then... We did it, folks! One life Armstrong! Get fucked! Ugh. 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 Look at him! Jack. I like it as well, you can see the healing items drop in case you fuck this next section up. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck you! He does deserve another shot. Let's go. Oh shit! Oh no, he fucked! This is what you get! You told me to do a shot! Thankfully, it lets you do it again. That's what you get! <laughs> I still beat him in one life though. I'll blow you away. 
Ugh! Right to the fucking tits. I think I do wish in this section that Ryan just did like a million punches to the face. Fuck you! Women's rights. Bam! Now I love that his weak point moves during this moment. Because that's how his powers work. We're fucking done here. So that's the end of the game. And as always, I'll be closing off with Q and or A. So while you guys watch this last cutscene, I'll go like clear up my drinks. I'll get my last drink. That was very hard mode, yes. As you can tell, it was very difficult. So I'll go grab myself my final drink. I'll come back in. And uh, yeah, we'll close off with Q and or A. So you watch this last cutscene, because I've seen it like a dozen times. Back in a sec. For a while longer at least. War will continue as an institution, as an industry. Men will fight for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. But at least I'll leave a worthy successor. You, Jack. You carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. <coughs> you don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it. There we are. Not bad at all, I'll say. Um, yes, I've beaten Revenge difficulty on stream. Although it did take two streams because I got really drunk before the Armstrong fight. I feel like if I did it not drunk, I'd probably have beat it a bit easier. Um, but yeah, I've beaten Revenge difficulty on stream um, uh, once or twice. And I'll no doubt do it at some point. Maybe I'll do it next week in. Um, uh, Anticipation of Charlie coming over and doing it on an easy difficulty with everyone to get to see the story. But we shall see. But yeah, if you enjoyed this playthrough, you can definitely go to the Discord where I announce where I do this once a week. Because it's fun, it's a dumb game, I can play it easy enough. There's a really fun element to it in terms of the discussion you can have about like the game being really prescient and ahead of its time. It's all the memes, but yeah, sure. If that's that's your jam, you can check that out. But for now, it's going to be um, uh, just Q&A at the end, as I often do. Which is something I close off all my drunken streams with, because why not? But thank you for everyone tuning in. It is much appreciated. Q&A, cool down. Done. And then now we get to see how crap my green screen is lined up. One sec, you ready? There you go, you can see. It's... Actually, no, I think I lined it up pretty well for the zoom in that I did. That's actually not bad at all. I don't mind how um, uh, that's lined up poor before, now I quit.